Right, Sorry. So... <laughs> Pre-session. Right. <laughs> so, welcome everybody. I don't really have a session intro this time, because life is weird like that. How dare you. But, we can get started right on ahead. A bloody bride? Here? Shit. You heard Horngard's mutter. Before quickly drawing his sword and coating it in uh, the divine glow of his lord, Myrtle, close behind, loaded her crossbow, awaiting your signal to strike. As the car and Ark synchronized, priming their spells, Sparrow's eyes drew dark as he began to crawl up the walls of the ruin behind which the coven continued their nefarious chanting. Roaring conflagration blazed down from the heavens as the abaters of Boros cast down celestial fire upon those unfortunate few surrounding the bubbling cauldron. In an instant, Sparrow followed through, raining a bludgeoning uh, array and blizzard upon the bride and her insectile bodyguard. Charging in with shield and spear, D'Artagnan cut down the remaining few. Nightmares came to life. Brunt and magic was exchanged between both sides before, in a matter of minutes, it was all over, and silence fell upon the swamp once more. Some time has passed. So I usher you forth to our focus. Do we all have vision? Do we all have... are we all good? I appear to have vision. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I will load myself in there as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And make them a little. Okay. So this token is where we... pops in Cold God. So this is where we are now. I'll describe the scene a little bit. The smell of soot and smoke assaults your nostrils as you watch the last of the witch corpses smolder into a glow of embers. Following the Tain's orders, Hongard has set a pyre on the uh, coarse stone flooring of the ancient ruin to the you know, to the south of you. One by one, the enchantresses of the bog were thrown there into um, into this pyre. Uh, with that done, Hongard has taken a torch to the numerous hives that flourish in the swamp fester to the east and throughout. Myrtle, in turn, has spent uh, this time delighting in the death of Granny Morgantha. Uh, a smile spread across her face as she deflects uh, and reflects, rather, uh, mirthful, uh, just reflects in her mirthful thoughts, I suppose. Uh, the hags of Bongrider Mill done with, she has finally avenged the countless children lost to Morganthus drain pie business. You noted one which had bird claws for hands, and one, one of her eyes was that of a cat. This was one of a mongrel, a Bellevue perhaps, fallen on difficult times. Sorry. I'm just gonna skip past the pre-session music because we already passed that. That's better. All right. Uh, this was a mongrel, as I mentioned before. You look closer to uh, at the other witches as well. One still has a letter from her father, an Udo Lukovic, a cobbler from Valaki, who you barely remember rescuing from Burgermeister's mansion oh so long ago. Uh, remember that guy who was in the closet and whatnot? Udo. Yeah, you, yeah. F you find his name on the letter the father wrote to his daughter some weeks ago, worried for her safety. Her name was Helga. Now she's dead. Some of you, if not all, ponder how many more innocent souls have lost their way, lured into the mire in search of power and a connection to the weave. Um, in terms of loot... For those of you interested in that, um, I expedited to, that I would imagine you've searched the site, more or less. Um, yeah. I've searched the site of vile worship and summoning. You found all sorts of tools and occult instruments. Those um, among these goods, uh, little was salvageable or made any sense to you. Uh, on the body of one, which um, you found a pouch full of uh, a variety of herbs, Yew, mistletoe, sprouse, holly, and oak bark, possibly spell components of some kind. The pouch also contained one single copper coin that has since tarnished a slight shade of green. The pouch has uh, cloth tags sewn to it on which was written the owner's name, 
Martha Madcackle. Carefully scouring the ruins, you also came across a herbalist work table to the west, whose uh, wood has begun to rot and warp like decaying fingers of the one who used to concoct her horde brews here. Among the various notes and journals on the table, you found her name, Yutruda Blackfinger. How do you proceed to give this information? What, what do you think? One at a time, sorry, what? What was her name again? So, whose name? Blackfinger? The, the one that, yeah, yeah Blackfinger. Yeah. So, Petrita Blackfinger was the name you saw all throughout the notes on that uh, alchemist table. I don't know what. Don't it's one of the witches you killed. About her. Oh. Yeah. Well, these people just went down a bad path. Yeah, I guess we corrected that for them. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, not I wrong, but right. at the same time. <laughs> Jesus. No rest for the wicked, Kerr. Mm, there can be. Once they're dead. Or if they, you know, choose to stop being a douche. Yeah. Or die. Or die, sure. Yeah. Forget. I guess. Both That's are correct answers. Alright. I guess we should set up camp and... Is, uh, is the body of the big mothman still intact? Define intact. Still there. Cool. Uh, how big is its head? It's, it's a good two feet across. Hmm... I would like to take its little antenna. Easily done. You approach it and you lacerate it off with a short blade or a dagger. It, it reminds you of a moth antenna. Very feathery, very... Yes. Um, yeah. I tie them to my horns. Okay. Are you, like, pretending to be a moth or something? No. <laughs> don't understand what's going on. Trophy's guitar. <laughs> Trophy. Did this last fight break him? You do you. Trophies are trophies. Just I'm also taking the plumage around his neck. It is mine now. That, you would need a survival check to do. Alright, here we go. It's one thing to butcher a corpse, and another thing to take off delicate fur. <laughs> also, curiously enough, as you're rolling this, you notice that the antennae that you have attached to your horns still do twitch. As if they're attempting to receive a signal, even, even, even still. This twitching continues on for like the next like five minutes or so before it stops. Curious. It's off storm 15. Yeah, you easily uh, take off the plumage. Um, ha! It has like a layer of like black blood beneath it. Um, That's fine. Most of it is kind of destroyed by the fires, the flame wall that the this corpses went through before. But uh, some of it is salvageable, and you manage to have a little sassy scarf around your neck. I have a scarf. Nice. I thought you already had one, but I guess your cape. I have a cape. I have a cloak. I have a scarf. And horn decoration. Indeed. Just notes for myself. Um. <laughs> it wears the I, I mean, I literally have a tongue whip, too. Yeah. <laughs> um. So... Going forward from here, as since you are here, D'Artagnan, I don't know if you can move your token or you just chose not to, but um, you do notice that. The... Mm -hmm. Sorry, please. No, please no, it is. It is. That's what that's the point I was trying to make. If you okay. wanted to investigate that table, you may. Uh, um, I, 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 I would. Would, would anyone like else invest... like to investigate it with me? What? Oh. The, the, the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Wait, what table are we looking at? Is it over here? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> just walk out. Oh, right. can, I, I, can I look first? I don't I'll want anyone else to roll. I, I so roll. I'll let you roll with advantage for your investigation here, just to see how much you find. Uh, just uh, the two best of you, just roll me investigation. And I'll take okay, the highest. Arc. Remember, Do he it. has specialize. Yeah. Do it, Ark. Thank you. Special, it, special. In a way, he rolls, he rolls advantage on his own, but... Uh... I'm, uh, I'm not relaying any of the uh, my findings. 
Oh, oh, you want to search first and then take what's yours and then let the rest search through the rest of it? Yes. Is that oh, what? In that case, uh, I want to roll investigation. No, too. Hunter. No, we. It, you can roll investigation too, but uh, if he rules higher than you, then he, Matt is allowed to do that. Well, did you rule it? We have. Yeah. I'm just letting Brobot That's... look. Oh damn it! Yeah, <laughs> Brobot will. Matt, right. you, you have advantage. He's still fucking. Oh, that's right. Yeah, good, it's but... fine. I'll take that. So, okay. So Matt, you find a detailed map of the surrounding forest inscribed on what seems like a tanned deer skin. Uh, you also find okay. like skulls of various animals, including a few human ones. A small piece of star quartz uh, crystal set up to be used as some sort of magical focus that's probably worth quite a bit. Um, you find an unfinished adventure journal. <laughs> You're typing up something already. Um, the adventure journal, like, leafing through it real quick, uh, you can kind of tell it's kind of like a diary. Uh, it tells of uh, the story of a young druid and her party of friends exploring a nearby cave system some years ago. The journal's owner is none other than Pichuda herself, and tells of her adventure long ago alongside with her two best friends, Leah Lightningstruck and Bethany Blotkoff. Um... You... That's what you see initially, scouring through all this. Yeah. Lore, dude. I pocket the quartz. Okay, the map. so add a star quartz worth, uh, I would say, like 50 gold. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty expensive. Uh, that can be used as spell focus as well. The map. Oh, you pocket the map? Oh, no. I'll, I'll hand out the map in the journal. As I say, ugh, lore. I'll hand to Car the journal. <laughs> right, okay. And I'll put on my glasses. D'Artagnan, taking the map, uh, do you, like, open it up, scour it, whatnot? Yep. Okay. I throw it under fire. <laughs> um, oh, uh, okay. Um, quickly, the map has three points of interest marked off on the tan surface. Uh, judging by the f uh, flowing river, uh, bisecting the inscription, one of these points is about a thousand feet west and is noted with a sketch of a creeping, crawling thing on several gnarly legs. The second point of interest is marked off several miles further, denoting the location of the Wizards of the Wines winery with an etching of dead ravens. The third point of entrance is marked off a mile north um, of the edge of Barrett's ruins, where a crude drawing of a dragon skeleton is etched into the deerskin. Ah, the battle. Oh, do I see any? Can I react? You may react. You may all react oh, to the All right. So this is a very useful. I mean, how do do these locations anyways? I'm gonna do well, the standard uh, thing. Double check to see if anything on the tape included. For the map. sure. And before you do that, one last detail I'll note about this map. That I'm just kind of reading through this as I'm going. Is um, you note that the creeping crawling thing, the ink upon deer skin writhes and moves through the the inner veinage of the of the of the velvet. Like it moves. Oh. As if shit. where it goes, like a marauder's map, exactly it's like that. Tracking it. Sick. Yeah. That's <laughs> hey, that's useful. So, so what are tracking though, the, Bobby like Yonk monsters. Is oh, is that her house that's moving? What do you yeah. mean? I thought it was like a. Okay. Okay. Her, 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 her house. Yeah. Her house is. On I left. thought she had like a giant spider that was chilling in her swamp. That's what the thing is. Oh, wait, yeah. Her house is the giant spider. Is what we were told. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, Matt, you want to scout the rest of the table. You do note, um, a, you, you find like a set of, uh, mortal and pestle made of heavy and lustrous obsidian stone, scales, clippers, and other tools used to create antitoxin and what seems like several other previously created potions and textures. So, all in all, you find laid out a herbalist kit. Like, just sprawled out, ready for the taking, if you so wish. Um. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, so a herbalist kit. Uh, typically, you need proficiency to use it, but I'm gonna be soft with it that you can use it just without proficiency because you are not known tra trade. All you do is you just roll me a one d twenty when you use it, and I'll tell you the result. That's all it okay. is. Um, 
It can be used to make antitoxins. You need to make healing potions uh, if you have the right herbs and stuff. This is it's more like for RP. Um, mm. um, but aside from that, you also find a whole array of like potions and textures that were pre-concocted. Um, you find three vials containing three different potions. If you wish to do like a nature arcana or a medicine shake to know what is in these vials or more or less I'm gonna aim for it. arcana I'm not gonna lick it it's lick the it only one use. or you can just go the dertanian route and just lick everything I will I will I would like to down one of the potions looking at it okay so as you're <laughs> just scouring these potions dertanian just takes one rule me a 1d6 grab his arm 1d what <laughs> or you can let him roleplay yeah up to you. You can try to Remember, stop me. I'm not. I'm not gonna stop. You it's try it's, to stop it's me. an athletics contest. If you wish to stop me, I'm not gonna do it hard. I'm just gonna put my hand on his arm and be like, <clears throat> "Remember what? Like, th this is hag stuff." The last time I drank hag stuff, I became this handsome devil. He's not wrong. I don't. I down. I know. <laughs> I, like, I let go of his arm. Is it a one a one d six top? Uh, yeah, just throw me a 1d6. If you're just downing it, you're just drinking one of the three, and it's... That is uh, a one. That is a one. Okay, so you guys... I, I'll describe this potion first, because it is in your hand. It's um, deep green in color, and you can make out shredded leaves of some kind, uh, just swirling in the viscous fluid. Uh, oh. As you open up the cork... Yep. It's not a deep miniker. If As you <laughs> open up the cork, uh, you immediately take this... You waft the smell that reminds you of, like... Freshly trimmed gardens, and as you drink it, you know it tastes like it looks green, like fresh leafy vegetables, and a slightly bitter kick that reminds you of like arugula. Then, ah, it's a smoothie. Then you feel it, like a wave of relaxation washes over you as your eyelids become heavy and your mind begins to wander and ponder the nature of the world. For a moment, time slows down as you take into the, like, the beauty of all, uh, all of it, the moss upon these ancient stones, the rushing sound of water in the distant river, even the croaking of swamp toads suddenly seems interesting. You ride out this high for the next 2 to 12 hours. Oh no! Oh no! That's the, for the next 21 <laughs> hours, your wisdom is increased by 1d4. Oh shit! So, do you know how to increase your wisdom? That's not intelligence. <laughs> no, but, but so you're. I do not. So, I'll, I'll increase it. So no, that's not it. No, so I wisdom increased, <laughs> increased by one. by one. I'm just gonna type it out. But your intelligence decreases by one d four for twenty one hours. So you are wise. You're not smart, and you just ride out this high. I really hope you're almost becoming me, dude. Oh, that's rough. I now have uh, seven intelligence. Hold on, let hey, me change. Me. Let me change your uh, sheet real quick. You're technically as dumb as me now. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Liquid weed. Yeah, except you don't have the life experience, apparently. So, what is it? Intelligence. Is that ayahuasca, dude? Whoa. Well, minus 30, you wish. To Plus car. one to wisdom. The yeah. leaves are talking. Yeah, pretty much. And that's why you don't drink shit off the table at the hag's place. But I mean, hey. Did it. At least you're listening to the land. Oh, or the toads. They speak. He's yeah. had his share of potions. I grab Ark by the shoulders. Shake him. Listen to the toads, Ark. <laughs> Tell the truth. Fight the fist. Okay. Um, I struck my, my antenna on my head. Hey, yes, okay. it's like so soft, speaking to so you delicate. I have become the moth guy. I am Mothman, and I do fly I away with my wings. <laughs> <laughs> do you try to you just, just fly away? Yeah, to Horn Guy. Okay, oh. cool. You just flutter away. I'm so light. So, Matt, <laughs> you rolled an 11 or kind of there. Yeah. Um, you usually can tell the general properties of potions judging by the smell or car, or, uh, but one of these vials is a complete enigma to you. Like down orthodox method used to make these uh, are is too puzzling to decipher one of them, uh, but you do decipher another. So there's one with a label, and you can actually you can read Sylvan because you can read every language, right? Okay. Yeah. So roll me. 
a 1d4, because there's only two more left. And I'll just tell you which one you can't recognize. Just give you a choice here. Okay, so the label is secured to the cork of this vial, and in Sylvan it reads Basilisk Saliva. Okay, so okay. I don't know if you... Um, Oops, I almost erased off my notes. There it is. So Basilisk Saliva. The fluid within the vial is like transparent, and opening the cork giving it a little whiff, it smells like the sea. Uh, and you know it's like a slight crystallization at its edges, as if like sea salt has formed at the edges. Um, do you drink it or just leave it alone? I just leave it alone. Okay, do you I like drink them. Add, add the rest of the potions to the inventory or leave them alone? Just so I can know. Uh, um, something to know if I know what a basilisk can do. Uh, yeah. Um, History, uh, nature. Like that'll be, that'll be nature for sure. That'll be like a nature knowledge, just to know what a basilisk is. Oh yeah, 13. Uh, basilisks, you, you know that they're creatures that turn things to stone. You know so that they... It's an antidote for stone. You know that they look like like <laughs> lizard beings with like six legs and they're all... Like an, oh, a giant iguana. I know. <laughs> yeah, a giant I iguana. I personally yeah. better know what a basilisk is. Yeah, so you, you know exactly what it is. And uh, this is its saliva. This is literally its, its saliva. Do you think this is an antidote for petrica petrification? Drink yeah, like a golden out. needle. Aren't you over at Horngard? I'm yeah. everywhere. Stay over there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just floating everywhere. Um, I, uh, like, yeah. drop a little bit onto my pinky. Nothing Open happens. Oh, good. So, like, you drop a little to your pinky, and it, 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 it drops, and the transparent liquid turns uh, this salty white as if it evaporated, leaving behind, like, a salty residue. But that, like nothing happened to your flesh or anything. You know that you found this vial resting beside an empty pipette and an oval lake stone that bears no significant marking along its water smooth surface. Hmm. I'm assuming, yeah, this might just be an anti petrification. Hopefully. If not, then I mean, when we drink it, we'll probably just get double petrified. Nice. Nothing happened to your flesh. Yeah, nothing yeah. happened. But it might have different properties when ingested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Correct. So it's the only one we can't identify. We'll uh, you can you can read that what the other one says because you can read Sylvan. The other one says midnight tears, but you're not too sure what it does. Midnight tear. Midnight you know tears. What? That that sounds like a fun time. What does it look like? Uh, it looks like uh, so midnight tears. I'm just gonna note it in the chat so I can remember. Uh, again, again, secured cork has a Sylvan label. The glasswork within the vial features like a spout that dispenses the liquid within one drop at a time. Kind of like a reverse hourglass. Um, frankly, an ingenious work of fine craftsmanship by some glassmaker. Um, uh, the liquid is colorless and devoid of any smell whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up, mm -hmm. look over at it uh, to car and be like, like, gesture to this pinky. Do you want to test this one too, or? Pull out my other pinky. Are you sure? I mean, if it's just the pinky, it probably won't do too much. Without a pinky, you can't hold a sword properly. Yeah, you can. Plus, Ooh. it's just the tip of my pinky. Ah, true. Plus, I don't have a sword. I actually, I, I don't know about this. It could be poison. Well, I have magical healing. Yeah, it can't be that poisonous on the skin, can it? Jesus okay. Christ. Okay, I put a <clears throat> drop on your pinky. You feel it's the cold sensation of, of it. It does not evaporate. It remains there on your pinky. Like a little droplet, and you wait 30 seconds, a minute. Lick nothing it it nothing happens. Lick it. I put it on my tongue. You put it on your tongue? No, don't, don't do that. What are you doing? He's licking it. It's a little tiny drop. <laughs> yeah, little tiny drop of odorless colorless. Nothing happens. Most the oh. Um, whisper Does that me have a, a taste at all? whisper me a con save. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Two oh, GM. Either way, nothing happens. Like to the whole group, nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens. Yeah. Well, the cars are ticking time bomb. What time of Does day is it? Taste like now? anything. It tastes like nothing. It literally tasted like nothing. Doesn't smell like anything. Like yeah. water, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really have a particular yeah, yeah. Just, trace to it. Just a yeah. liquid. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe it has to be midnight for it to work. 
I look up at the moon. <laughs> uh, so it is about 9 p.m. right now. You guys did do a night mission. Uh, and you planned long rest forward, so I just, I assume you guys are gonna rest till, like, right before sunrise. So, oh, yeah. that's yeah. that's about the time right now. Oh, did we long rest? No, not yet. The, no. I, I, I started right before, and uh, yeah, okay. I, I kind of said how I'm not gonna make you guys go across the river. You, can, you guys can long rest here. Because you guys oh, yeah. kind of made this space safe, and your you, corn guard is doing the job for you by burning all the blood flies around. So, oh, mind you, you dispense one drop. The vial has two more doses in it. Oh shit! If you're equipping it, just be like midnight tears, two doses. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will. Takara, do you want this? D'Artagnan, do you want this? Actually, D'Artagnan, I will gladly try it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me listen to it. Maybe it'll be not high. Oh, you yeah. bring it to your <laughs> ear and you just hear like the laughter of children. Yes. My day. <laughs> you hear like, Father, can I go one more time on the slide, Father? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just see like <laughs> they're tending talking to him, but like, no. <laughs> All right, I, okay. I look did, down. Did Dark Tanya have any like trauma in his life? Um, no. Okay, then don't worry about it. I mean, apart from his entire order more or less disappearing, you know. That's, nah, that's not, it's, it's fine. Watching his wife give birth. I don't know how dragonborns give birth. Do they lay <laughs> eggs? I don't know. Father, I came out of your wife's vagina, father. Anyways. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll spend the long rest or getting ready for a long rest reading the journal. Okay. Uh, do you guys... Do anything with the corpses piled up to the south? Uh, actually, uh, these ones? Over here? Yes, these ones. Uh, uh well, we've already looted everything. It's because there's the like... Fire. Yeah, okay. So, like, yeah, we oh, them oh, do you mean the skellies? Mm, well, I mean, some of them are skeletons because they were already burnt from your attacks, but there's like three corpses that are like not burnt. I just thought yeah. you said something last session about like burning corpses. So Yeah, because I... there's necromancers, so, you know. Mm, good call. Yeah. There's also the ashes of Redeka, uh, which I noted with this icon here. There's nothing really left of her body f to salvage. I'm uh, I'm gonna take her skull. Okay, you take her skull, and you can even know that the oh, fangs are on. still attached to it. Does she have a skull? Who is that? That's yes. the vampire Strahd's yeah. wife. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now Why she's on my hip. Onto her skull. Because. Yep. Yeah. Tells just lesser just... vampires to fuck off. Yeah, just let them do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That, that's a good reason. That is a good reason. It's intimidating. Okay. I'm going to read the book and just sit down. Uh, um, claim are... my place of a sleep area. Do you know if whatever this ugly green thing is? Mm hmm. Do you think it's worth anything? Part of your body. Oh, this. Does it speak yes. to you, dude? I, I shove my head in its empty eye socket. Do I hear anything? Oh, just gross. No, you don't hear anything, but you're covered in scoop and and when he retrieves like his when he goes to stand up, he's still wearing the head. And it's just like a loose like four eye stalks dangling loose from his shoulders. <laughs> and he's just wearing this thing like a bob. <laughs> it's disgusting. Oh, oh don't make the noise. Uh, I'm gonna set up my down? bed over here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have nightmares about this tonight. Can you, can you put that down? Also, I'll pile up all the bodies onto the bonfire pile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're burning all the bodies for sure. Like they're and uh, say some words about uh, you know, we all went down the wrong path and we didn't talk to you. Okay, do you, let's resolve one thing at a time. The thing you want to do anything with a disgusting head on your fucking. Uh, you want Obviously, to do I take the head off. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll take an eyeball from its little. Like a stalk, for sure. <coughs> just add it to your inventory. I'll figure out uses for it later. Yeah, I'll just unless call you... it an eye stalk. Yeah, stalk. exactly. Uh, observer's eye stalk. Just so I know what it is. There are uses to it, mostly for mages. Uh, but if you fucking find a use for it, then RP it up. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah. So assembled in the south corner of the ruin are the corpses of the dead, piled up high in a pyre. Some of the corpses are already singed from your attacks, as I mentioned before. Others lie motionless and cold upon one, upon the other. Uh, you know, like, Myrtle has already soaked the bodies with oil she found in the herbalist's uh, table. And she combined, and like, the whole combined smell of oil and dead is sweet and pungent. 
So both. Myrtle's a bad bitch. Yeah, Mar both Myrtle and and Fernando, just kind of like petting him and they kind of like lean against the wall, ready to watch this glorious pyre. Oh. I love Fernando. Maybe Fernando can talk to me now. <laughs> he can talk to you, but I don't know if he's actually talking to you. Do you want to try? Yes. Certainly, you can certainly try. Yeah, go. Fernando. Talk to him, hi guys. Speak to me. So, like, you watch as D'Artagnan, like, high as fuck, leans in to Fernando. And then, like, you guys, like, watch as it ignores him. But you, D'Artagnan, you see it's, like, it slowly swivels towards you. And then, like, its eyes start to, like, turn, like, rainbow colors. Now they're red, now they're green, now they're blue. And it's just like, whoa. And then, like, it opens the spa, and it's just like... Stop. Fernando! Guys, it's talking to me. I can hear it. Don't eat the cheese. What cheese? Thick cheese? Oh. Do not eat the thick cheese, D'Artagnan. And then like, you watch it like it, it starts like hopping through the meadows and through the marsh grass oh. and, and then it starts flying up to the sky and disappears in a cloud and then you blink and you're on the floor, you're lying prone on your back and you're just giggling through. Ah. Uh... And snap back to re uh, snap back to reality. It's just Fernando sitting there, like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? All right. All right. All right. As you put a torch to the pyre, so to speak, you watch the fire quickly spread, accelerated by the oil. Black smoke begins to rise as flesh boils and bone crackles. So, um, as you are about to turn your back on the spire to move on, the flames suddenly turn bright. Green. Oh, great. That's gonna not freak me out. Yeah, the tangent's like, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, fucking. Ooh. Yeah. Um, to car and whoever's close, give me a perception check. Oh, no. I'm sort of close. Yeah, I know. I mean, I can move you. Tokens, that's, that's a natural 20. 20. Fucking, they're taking us in another realm. I so, can see! Also, uh, I like it how you have a minus one modifier, so that you still roll that show 20. Um, <laughs> so, the taking from within the bonfire, you can hear the sound of thundering hooves. Ethereal shapes stir at the edge of your senses as if half there. These ghosts steadily take form as the thundering hooves grow louder and the fire grows wilder. Light itself yeah. seems to dim all throughout by this glow. I think it's straw on his horse. Maybe. Does anyone else have a horse? Sorry, what? I think it's straw. Huh. <laughs> what? Hooves! <laughs> One crazy Oof. stuff. I no. just see a green fire, dude. No, no, no. I can hear them. They're around. <laughs> I can sense the mission. You also took drugs. <gasps> no, you are the drug. <laughs> Thanks. In a blazing trail, a creature suddenly bursts forth, galloping out of the flames, emitting the sound most unnatural. Those of you with I military. Told you. Yeah, oh, call it. Hi, D'Artagnan is right. Oh, shit. So, oh, like. Uh, nope, that don't look like a stride. That don't look like a. Demon so calm about this. Those of you with military in your background, you have heard this dreadful sound before, um, like that of a dying warhorse. Oh, ooh, ooh, damn! As this thing up. gallops out, uh, several shapes form around the fire, forming a crescent circle. The ghost of the dead, those you killed, five witches and a bride, materialize into a vision. Savannah Radeka bears a mirthful smirk across her pale face, and her eyes seem to pierce the dark with their glowing ethereal gaze. You hear her say, I am undone, but so are you. How so? Uh, I'm, I'm too high for this. I'm too high for this. <laughs> How so? She turns to the car. No, you. Where lies the power of the court? 
Do you know why it is the people of Barovia fear us, dare not harm us or raise resistance? Because they're weak. Yes. <laughs> and yes. But most importantly, they know the truth of it. Alone, we are weak. And it is apparent a rogue group of murderers such as yourself are sure to make prey of my kind. But kill us, and you would doom your very soul. Radeka mounts the flaming beast as she speaks these words. So, are you dead? <laughs> of sorts. I was always dead. You know what I mean, witch. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> ah! I'm just gonna sit on the ground and I just I give up. Is that horse look like actually there though? Oh yes. You can feel its heat from where you're standing. You cast light all throughout, which reflects off the walls. It is very much material. Her. She's a ghost. Yeah, she's she's a hero. She, you you know a ghost when you see one. Very demure, very much like that. Car. If we start a fight. <laughs> Don't. I, I'm on the ground. I ain't doing nothing. Banish her. I don't have banish. You've already done what you will, and banish me you shall not, for I am beyond your reach now. You have incited our wrath, and so you are damned. I wish I had, like stone of the sleeper right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would have been <laughs> just like teleport in, grab her, teleport out, dumbass bitch. <laughs> You're too. Sorry, what, She's she Maz is 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 tired of her monologuing. I will get out of your hair. You will be repaid in kind. The old time will come. Hmm? You, hey, you, can, you can try it. I'm with, I'm with it. I'm not helping. I'm too high for this. How strong do you think that horse is? Probably stronger than me. Can I do like a... Yeah, we're sort of check. Your little... Your, your scouter 300. So yeah. we're 9,000. To check Dom, how... Yeah, to see if that we can. To see if you can kick this thing's ass? Yeah. Maybe an insight check to see if it looks doable? I don't know if you could really get anything to A little from mental it, combat running simulation? Yeah. I mean, you're you're injured. She's halfway yeah, into the, back into the fire, so she's leaving. If you wish to fly this thing, she would, she would just flee. God damn it, Greg. Yeah. Greg could have put out the fire. Uh, do I have any water on me? No, that's like magic fire. I could that's cast good. magic circle if someone can cast me a hundred gold coins real quick. That's a lot of money. Um. Hey, Eric, do you still have water inside of you? Holy I have a water, flask of holy water and some in my. What's your name? Do you want me to put out the fire? Is that what you want me to do? Yeah, I have a water yeah. skid. Do you, anything else? Do you think we should all just throw our water at her? I mean, if you want to try. Sure, I run up and start spraying holy water in their direction. Yeah, I, I whip as much holy water as I can into that. Die, fire. die, throw my We're non holy like water. So you whip holy water's being, and wherever the holy water hits its flesh, it whines, and just the flesh bursts into the same green flame. You are hurting it very much so. It riles up, and, and it does a little, you know, when a horse goes on its hind legs and just kicks forward? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it just does that before you're trying to keep you away from it. Rideka holds the reins close to her, well, not reins, but holds the whatever she's holding on to it, not to fall off, and pivots the horse toward the fires, meaning to go back into it. You have interrupted her mute speech, and she has no more interest in talking to you. I rush at the horse. You rush at the horse? <laughs> Is the horse, yep. Is this the horse's size larger than me or no? Oh, yeah. That means I can still push it, I think. Yeah, I also rush the horse. I'll assist. I'll, uh... Full horse ride. I'll headbutt the horse. You're not leaving. You're dying here. Oh, wait. Not even as a... Alright, I... Hold on. That's bonus action. What is this? What are we doing right now? We're stopping her from telling Strahd or something. Oh, yeah. You're right. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's a bonus. Are you? Um, no, I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. We're just killing her <laughs> well, again. I was gonna say something, <laughs> but like... 
We're just killing her again. Hold on. I'm trying to roll initiative here. Alright. So. Sunlight. Weird. Okay. Would that we just need, like, Greg to fucking cast ice on the damn fire. So I can either deal a lot of damage, or I can try to push it. Uh, if, uh, if you want, you can uh, you can push it, and I'll do the damage. Because you have a higher strength than I do. But the thing is, the DC is. We could both push it. I have a bonus action push. You're right. I'll try to push it. So I'll go in. I'll punch with the claw. You have lowest initiative. Well, I'll, I'll let you rule with uh, advantage because you initiated it. So... Still seven. <laughs> so, Lutanian, if you're going uh, to combat with this, well, we're going to combat with this. Alright. Uh, I would like to... Do you want me to push it to car or hit it? Uh, do what you would do, because either way, it's next turn. It's just gonna go. You know what? I'll, no, I'll, I'll handle it differently. I'll let you all do your united action before this thing gets turned. Go ahead. Sorry? I'll let you all go first before this thing gets turned. Fuck much. Okay. So then I'll try to attack and push it. I will okay. assist the car in pushing. Okay. Go ahead and roll Sorry. me to hit with advantage. Oh, with advantage to hit. Sorry, right. roll, yeah. baby. Good. There's the other twenty-one. Nice. Uh, that's is that the horn push? Uh, this is the weapon hit. Um, this after I hit with a melee attack right. as part of your attack. Twenty-one hits. On your turn. So we'll do that. So sixteen damage, eight psychic, six fire, two piercing. Nice. Uh, and then strike save. I don't have anything for that, but it's a a D eight. Oh, you already gave me what? Yeah, you're talking about what? Uh, eight eight. Plus six I, plus I just rolled. I just rolled my strength save. Oh, what is eight plus six plus two? Mm -hmm. What's that one? I don't know what that. So even with your max proficiency of a d6 and your uh, strength uh, of fire, it will not hit a 21. It oh, it's a d8. Yeah, it's a d8. 16 plus uh, your strength of fire, it will not hit a 21. So this thing gets damaged by your by by your remora spikes and whinies and pain as you hit it, but um, it's not, it just holds its ground. Uh, anybody else? I want to uh, shove it. 16 in response. I'm gonna yell. Okay. See if Myrtle has something to get rid of the fire. Oh, I have ice breath. There you go. Ice breath. That's an extra 15. If you guys do kilometer damage on things, it's gonna die. Okay, so that's 31 damage so far. Okay, and then you said you want to shove? Um. Yeah, arc? I want to shove it. Okay, that's an attack... Uh, Action to shove. So also oh, did the. Hmm? Sorry, actually. What, what would you want me to roll? Like uh, roll athletics or? Uh, sure. Let's do an athletics contest. Oof. Cool. Well, it might fumble its thing as well. Oh, oh wow. wow! Barely. God damn it! <laughs> so it stands the ground, takes thirty-one damage total. The fire goes out. Uh. Just blast away by the ice, and Rilika just scowls down at you guys. There will come a time when you will die. When you do, we will be there to torment you for all eternity. We will be waiting. It's not and... happening. Are you sure? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, <laughs> the car, do me a wisdom check. Are you willing? Hold on, sorry, it's uh... Don't joke with me, I will take you with me. Wait, 
What do you mean? No, I, no, I'm not like. I'm just saying. So it's you watch as the ethereal, like the ethereal strider, the nightmarish creature before he does yeah, horse, safe. like starts to thump its feet, and the fire just extinguished begins to rise beneath its very feet, and it starts glowing up a fire both itself and the ghost top of it, and then the car starts smoldering from beneath himself. Are you willing? I will take you with me. Uh, he's going to the ethereal room. Of course I'm not willing. But we can... Because you saved. Like, 20, 28, natural 20 saves against it, so you don't have to. But if you're willing, you're going. <laughs> so, don't joke with me. <laughs> if I go, we can... We can fight in there. So I'll go with you, but we're gonna die in there. You understand this. How do we get out of it? I we don't. To the existence are my thing. We make a deal. We find a way out. <laughs> are we day. going to the fear realm? This is what? happening. <laughs> yep, it's happening. I am willing. I am willing as well. Okay, I'm willing. Actually. Yeah, yeah. But actually. what about all our companions here? She's already in the ethereal realm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Which means like... three willing creatures with it. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna need another gin and tonic for this. <laughs> when an Octi bid just becomes another branch of the story. Let's go! Everybody who's willing, just. <laughs> Living Sparrow. Oh shit, right. bitch again! Tom, I'm what? high as fuck in the ethereal realm. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot work wrong with this, but you guys. One last chance. Are we doing this or not? Alright, pros and cons. Uh, it's we'll the ethereal realm! <laughs> We're Pro. going to... It sounded Pro. cool. She dies again. Pro. It was, Pro. It was a decision. Strahd don't moment. have no horse anymore. That's, no, that's, that's, that's horse. not even Strahd's horse. That's Pro. a different. That's, that's her horse. We're out of Barovia. Pro, we're out of. We're, well, we're in the ethereal realm of Barovia. I don't okay. know what that means. Which is. It's a lot creepier. It's a lot worse. And uh, there's a lot of big bad monsters there's in There's a lot of big bad monsters. Like, we're talking like Cthulhu's oh. asshole is in here. And the Gathias tree. Oh yeah. Hey Slack, how's it going? Hey Slack, how's hey, it going? Why is the taking oh! here twice? There are so many of me. I could hear myself. Nope. Sparrow's out of here. I guess we're doing this. Uh, yeah, Matt, that was uh Greg's gonna come back and it's gonna be three new companions. Or <laughs> 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 they're Tanya with like a big fucking Terminator arm and it's like What's up, bitch? Oh my I kind of wish I had Stone of Sleepers. God damn it, that would have been a dope ass scene going and grabbing Start her. Start brainstorming how you're getting out of here, dude, because I, I'm not assisting you. <laughs> uh, you're in here. I, uh, I where is Redica? I guess she's still relevant. Okay. I do have an idea of how what's to get your, out. What's your idea? Uh, Sluck has Stone Sleepers. Uh, but Sluck's not in the ethereal realm. Yeah, Sluck can see into it. Yeah, but he's in a tree. Yeah. How, how do we how do we contact Slug? And then... Slug has true sight. I Who's also have true thing? sight. Yeah, you have true sight. Yeah. Can I use true sight to get out of here? No. Well, would you be able to use true sight to get out of here? I don't know. I'm spawning it's NPCs and shit. I guess we're doing this. Uh, uh the car. Since you were the first in here, rule me a perception and again. Rule me a one d four to see what haunts you. Are we fighting all the witches again? We're. <laughs> No, the witch is... I'm, I'm not doing 22 that. 22 perception. 22 perception, you can see what's chasing you. 1d4, you'll see what it is. 1d4. Oh, and somebody's chasing us? You're in the ethereal realm. You're right. We just, we just <laughs> got here, fuck. Uh, where the fuck is a horse? Nightmare, please. Factions, Crimson Did you wouldn't have, like, a dominate creature spell. Yeah, uh, dominate person. Ah, well, I was gonna say we oh. can dominate the horse. Wait, is the fire a different color? Hmm. Who's uh, green before? Well, I mean, I have a token for it. Uh, there it is. You're right. Oh no, I'm just I'm curious. It if it was no, the fire is the same not. color. No, you're right. I, I was just I'm just I'm just doing this on the fly because apparently we're doing this. Nightmare. Uh, HP. Fucking people coming back from the dead. AC. Well, yeah. <clears throat> and PCAC, not PCAC. Alright. Thank you. So, there's a chance that we can do this real fucking fast. Okay. You roll two? Yes, he did. Yeah. Okay. 
Right. Um. Cool. Oh, it's him. I like the lonely. He's creepy. Uh, I like the. Lo why is the Why is the party spec thing is here? I don't know. That's in case Greg plugs him. There he is. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. The, the fucking spider specting is not supposed to be here because they see everything. Okay, so it's just Radica and her horse, which took 31 damage. That is a lot. Okay. Radica has none of her health. She's bound to something else. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Now we roll initiative, I guess. So we oh, do what? this fast, and then we run to the tree. I don't think the tree's here, Dakar. Uh, we run to Yester Hill. And if we can't get out that way, then I mean... Wait, what direction is uh, What direction is that? Do you even know where that is, Dakar? Open up the map. Uh, oh, I opened the map. It's below us. Which map? My map of, normal uh, map. Yeah. Hmm? Barovia. The map of Barovia? Yes. Okay, it's just paper. Yeah. You want me to put you guys there, or...? Oh, no, we're just... No, we're just... Can we see where Yester Hill is from where we were at the... Whatchamanimit? Well, we know what direction it is. But we yeah. don't know what direction's what in the ethereal realm. Well, you just fly. Where you are, you don't know. <laughs> but if there, we there's assume the map. where we are is where we are... We are... Fine. Which was... Meyer... We are here. Like. Matt, are you confused about any of this? Because they know what the ethereal realm is. I'm not sure if you do. No, no, I get it. You? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're here. here. We just have to go west. west. Whichever direction west is in the ethereal realm. Yeah. I point at you and you're right. <laughs> I suppose I could use true sight to see where it is. Mm, true. Save it for after we blow her up and then we try to dip to the tree. Yep. I have no and spells, by the way. Nothing. Not a If. Just, just, just stabs. I know. Just I have a grenade. Nice. Yeah. So if if the tree doesn't work, we have to rush all the way to the. Uh, remember that cave where the 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 stranger stayed? Yes. Go there. Okay. Do you even know where that is, Takar? Yes. Yeah, I drank the sap. Sap. All oh, right. The sap. So if Sluck can't help us, if Sluck can't just like turn on Ethereal, grab all of us, and turn back. He can. Mm -hmm. But where is Slug? Exactly. Be a tree god. Slug is bound to one location. Doing tree god stuff. Which is Yester Hill. Yes. So now we roll initiative. Suppose look at you all rolling high initiative. That's very nice. Excuse so me. descending, uh, D'Artagnan. Now we do initiative, I suppose. Oh yeah, also the. Oh one. look at me! I got the same initiative. Yeah. Now the lonely hey. also initiative too. Hello. What do you mean the lonely does not have a? What do you mean he does not have a sheet? Uh, the 227's hit? Yes, of course. Who are you hitting? <laughs> the car, which one am I stabbing? Oh, uh, get rid of the horse first. It. Well, we could use a horse to get out of here. Do you think he's going to listen to us? No. I stabbed the horse. For roll me damage. That was more of a genuine question of do you think it'll actually listen to us if we don't kill it? I'm high, I don't know. Is the horse talking to me? Don't kill don't me. Don't make me rule madness. <laughs> don't make don't analyze the horse. Don't make me rule madness for you. Okay, fine. I don't know, I'll just... uh, oh, I'm still rolling with advantage. Ah, uh, whatever, I still roll with double anyways. There's a sixteen hit. Uh, what? The horse? Yes. yes. Right. To fucking go for uh, the knees. Six, Jesus, 16, 16 damage in one damage. turn. Yep. Stabbing at it. Yeah, each each stab leaves a gaping, flaming hole in it. Duh. Nice. Can I use the bonus action to prep my grenade? You don't need to prep it. Just use it. Let's throw it! Uh, no, but... You need to use it as an action. Oh, never mind. I'll do it next turn. Oh. Uh, yeah. Prep to change. Uh, you, can rea you, can rea you can use your reaction to do make a condition. Uh, yeah. If the horse moves, I throw the grenade. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll allow it. But you throw it at your feet, yeah? <laughs> like, that's what we're doing? Like... Do you think I could stab it through the horse? What, the grenade? 
<laughs> like if the horse moves, I I put my hand, I pull the pin, and I try to dexterity myself into one of its wounds and leave the grenade in it before it moves away. Yes, that would be like an opportune attack. I'll allow it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like how you make it sound like it's the stupidest thing, and I will allow this. Well, actually, if I if I land it's... an opportunity attack, I can move up to half my movement speed, so I can move away in the same opportunity attack, so I shouldn't blow up. Well, you can also. Is move that like, no? You move toward your target. You move toward your target half your movement speed. Read again. Okay. Art. Yes. Okay. Shit. Uh, <laughs> boys. Do I even have a? What do I? Oh, anyway, never mind. This thing's large, large, right? Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's give him a good old, uh, Toll of the Dead. To Come the on, horse. man, just rule it for me, please. Okay, so, A, the Wisdom save? Yeah, or AC 15. I think this thing is way it fails. Yes. Taking so 16 damage if it's not, already hurt. 16, yes. Oh, boy. And it does not regenerate until next You see, turn. like, as the bell that boom hits, it starts to reverberate, and its very shape starts to fade away like a shadow you just cast light on. Evil can't tide no matter the realm. <laughs> Should be a... No, that's it for me. I guess maybe I'll try to move in front of it to block it. Uh, you can't end your movement in space, my dude. Oh, all right. All right. Okay, so <laughs> I am you... on top of the horse. Okay, nice. so you you move to flank it. Is that your turn? Yep. Bitch. <laughs> oh wait, did you just go uh, back? And uh, where is she though? Did she get? Oh, she went back in the material. Too. She went ah, back. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> wait, we're willing <laughs> creatures. I'm what? willing. We're willing. It's within five feet. Wait, the only nightmare two of us can go then. The or nightmare and up to three creatures stuck. within of oh, it magically enter the ethereal realm from the ethereal plane or vice versa. Decipher that. Is it a casting of like it chooses it and they have to be willing, or it's like if you're within five feet of it? I'm touch, That's touch up it. to you, DM. <laughs> touch it and go with it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Cars in <laughs> I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna point at them disappearing and go, should have saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> is this well, really what's happening right now? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's frame gonna, the whole session's gonna be this. We're gonna go in, out, in, out, in, out. So, let's, on let's... one end, we have the car and, like, hi. <laughs> like, hey, how's it going? Meanwhile. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. So it was Arquen. It goes. No, it, it went. That's the turn. So I'll do the car's turn and I'll do the rest of the people on this map. Wait, Fuck me. On, on. I'm trying to be smart. How many times can it transport can we, itself? We, we, Unlimited. We, we, <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. That's the whole All point right. of this horse. <laughs> Put this guy back to where he is. They're going to teleport again. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. So the car took your turn. What are you doing on your turn? As we're still in initiative, apparently. Uh, why did I delete the um, other two? That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. God, I'm gonna I... go where they were. Okay. Or like a little bit to the left. Fuck and I'm it. gonna prep, stabbing it if anything shows up. No, that's smart. Okay. Um. Okay, D'Artagnan. I'm sorry, guys. This is this is just like so not what I planned for this session that I'm just like. <laughs> This was Trent's idea. He's like, how can I... This is a good idea. It's funny. It's just like... So what was your initiative to take? You got it rolled already, so... He was 19. 19. Okay, so let's... You can just uh... scroll up. Yeah. Uh... Um... They're above D'Artagnan's attacks. Oh, God. So let's set that as... Nine... <laughs> Fucking... It was 19 again, of course. Oh, that's... Can you... Add him? Oh, did Please? I roll a 20 this time instead? Fuck yeah, I'll take that. Well, no. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Uh, why is it not setting your initiative um, to? There it is. That's all. Nineteen. Five. Oh, big sad. No, no. Nightmare is seventeen point fifteen. Because I, because you guys don't rule your initiatives for some reason. So, stop re-rolling D'Artagnan's initiative, you little ass. What? <laughs> I haven't, I haven't touched anything. I know, I do. And then, sorry, seventeen for Ark. Uh, Ark was eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, thanks. Um, and I'll just do nightmare. Um, nightmare was seventeen. No, Nightmare was low, dude. 
Oh, he was 17, you're the, right. The chick was low. The chick was low. I'm not... Riddick Crescent's mercy. I'm not... I'm not gonna bother with... <laughs> Can you... Okay. Whatever. It's fine. So, uh, Takar, you move to the space and you prepare for it. You you can see everything. You can see everything in black and white around you in a 60-foot radius. So, you can I, still see your allies. Your allies are still here and on this map now. Just popping in and out of reality. Off there goes gravity. Fucking Myrtle's like, what the fuck is going on? Maybe I took the drugs. <laughs> Oh, this one, Greg. <laughs> Just Greg comes back. Alright, this is what you're seeing. Yeah. Kill the horse! <laughs> Greg, kick it up! Horse under the night! <laughs> Greg, we got it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Nightmare, please. Roll initiative. Can you please roll initiative? And actually do it this time? Uh. So apparently, everything disappeared from the initiative order. Yeah, that's what it was like. So it's gonna be fucking 16. So, so whenever it like changes map, it changes initially. No, I fixed it. It should be fine now. So right now it's the car's turn. Was the lonely move close to you? It's haunting you. You have like a few turns. Uh, we're top finished for D'Artagnan. Right. Sorry. Go ahead. So should I stab the horse or stab her? You hear from the ethereal realm. The horse. Okay, but if I stab the horse, we don't have a way back into the ethereal realm. That's fine. But then she doesn't lethal. have a way to escape. But if we kill her... Trent, do you have like, a backup about... character? Uh, maybe. I can okay. make one. <laughs> but just... Don't worry about it now. Just ask I, me. I you want to uh, say, okay. like, depending okay, on Trent. how this goes... I, this I, is your... Sorry, go go ahead, Ark. I just... I, I, like, I don't know if I would have gone, because if they just blinked out, then I would have been stuck in the ethereal realm, too. Unless I noticed that they were leaving. That's a big token. What's that? Oh, it's her. Okay, Trent. So Don't worry her, about me. Kill her the horse. Horses horse <sighs> her escape. I'm, I'm killing the horse. I mean, you can do non-lethal damage, right? 15 hits. And that kills it. I thought it was 18 damage. That, 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 That's that. 16 damage? <laughs> the, ho the horse falls... <laughs> Onto the ground, dead. So much for non-lethal. It's yes. fine. It's a spear. It's not meant to be non -lethal. And Rebecca just kind of lands at it uh, on her feet, right beside it, her ethereal form before you. Yeah, you do Maybe what you want time. with her. Maybe this time we'll get to add your ghost skull to my hip. Oh, yeah, does she have a like a material form? No. So then she's still near me, isn't she? Yes, she is right beside you. She is on both planes at the same time. Alright. I'm gonna I'm tell you guys right you. right now, there's no way to kill Enter. There's no way to kill a spirit in this form. Even in the ethereal room? It... If I were to somehow kill her in there, I guess no. It would just it has. Do it nothing. requires a spe very specific item. So as it stands now, she's stuck in limbo, and she does nothing to attack you guys. You can attempt stab at her, and unless you're in the ethereal realm, you you're just tormenting her, pain wise. But this fight will go on forever because she's not going anywhere. I'm done. So now to railroad anybody. But, like, I'm just thinking about this. If your point was to destroy her horse, you did that. If your point was to destroy her, she's now stuck in limbo. Instead of flexing on you guys and being like, I'll wait for you on the other really? side, now she's stuck on the other side. Can I stab her with the feather of an angel? <laughs> Does that do anything? <laughs> you watch as, in this, for the second time, this campaign, Rebecca goes on her knees, screams, and then. <laughs> explodes in a cloud of ashes this time forever. <laughs> I forgot you had that item. <laughs> <laughs> Damn oh, fucking right, bitch! <laughs> you're not sure, you're not sure, those of you on the material plane are not sure. Uh, but wait, uh, Trent, do you have any vision whatsoever? Nope. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but it's fine. You're not sure uh, what happened? <laughs> but one moment there was Rebecca, another moment there was not. And the car probably got her. <laughs> 
Yeah. Good job, yeah, dude. He, he must have. I like All thumbs right. up in the general direction of where he was. I this feel it, and I'm already shit. flexing. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. I, if I use truth <laughs> sight, can I? Can running. I? If I if I, if I had used truth sight, if you can use truth sight, you can you you can see the car. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use true sight. I'm gonna look at the car. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna motion so he can see me, and I'm gonna point in the direction that Yester Hill would be in. Because can now I, I have. A he can direction. hear you. He can hear you too. All right, like so the car I'm can see and telling here, yeah. him you need to go that way to get to Yester Hill. Okay, can I see him? Point yes, yes. Yes. All right. All right, I start booking it in that direction. Good luck. <laughs> you owe me a beer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> mind no, you, mind you, it seems that every step that the car takes, like, an, like every animated step, every time he steps, you see his form blink in and out of, 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 of vision about like 30 feet at a time with each step. So he's literally like blinking it out, booking it. And, and after traveling about 60 feet away from you, he's out of your vision. And the car, they are out of yours. You still witness the world around you in in swirls of fog, mat uh, materials before you, and then the spear behind you. Uh, seeing 60 feet of be uh, before you and 60 feet behind, you recognize the lands of Barovia. And throughout all this, I'm just gonna... You hear the wails of the lonely following you. This, ever, this, this gonna... ever persistent cry. Fuck, 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 fuck. So, to XP that. Can I do like. Yeah. What? Yeah, no, go ahead. I was just. Can I like roll constitution to fucking just keep running and go beyond my fucking limits of running? I'm assuming using your action every turn for this quote unquote combat to dash, and you're dashing through the ethereal realm. It is about. Hum. I don't have to worry about physical things like trees and walls, right? No. You're you're I facing really, right I through run in a straight fucking line. To, yeah, to the hill. Is, um, the weirdest. I have a question yes. for the DM. Yes. I know I I don't have the spell ready, and I'm out of spell slots. Yes. But I do have revivify. Yes. Could I expend all of my holy power to use it on the horse? No. Damn it. Because I mean, that's you have spell Good slots for that reason, right? So, but the car is good. The car is using his. The lonely is pretty slow. Slow and creepy. Um, I'm gonna roll something behind the scenes for all this, but what is the distance here if we're doing. The, okay, that's not gonna tell me distance. Ten Running feet. a straight line like this, that's a good. 20 okay. feet. Yeah, he's already there. <laughs> through through the Fear of Family sure Fear feels like it. You run for what feels like 10 minutes, and you can see Yester Hill. And just as you're about to finish your climb up those spiraling steps, and you reach up to where the spiraling, weaving roots of the pearl bark tree are, you look behind you, and the lonely is about 60 feet behind you, in your vision, in your sight. Sure. I'm just gonna show what it looks like, for those of you who don't know what the lonely looks like. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not lore, it's factions, isn't it, at this point? It is factions. So. Uh, the Barovian, the Thero Elm of Barovia, yeah. Sour Sworn. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Yikes, dude. Yeah. You just see it on his spin legs, shit, and you're like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you see Slug before you, he's kind of like weaved into the grand pearl bark tree the way he always is, you know? About 10 feet from the air, he looks at you, he looks at a thing, and he's like, no. And like, he immediately wraps you up in pearl bark roots, squeeze your form, and then. You see the the one of these roots hand you the uh, stone of sleepers. Uh, I say sleep. You say sleep, and in a flash, you're back in the material realm uh, in Yester Hill. Woo! I fucking time to split jump, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know that like that pump yeah. that he does when he says it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> now I'm gonna explain this for the sake of the campaign. You have several choices here. You can, make, can talk to Slug. You can talk to yourself for like 10, 10, hour, 10, 10 minutes as we... Yay, Trent! <laughs> you can take it... You, you, oh, you give it back? Okay. That's why, yeah, that's why I was scared. Find a way to like wedge it into the tree. No, you, he'll <laughs> probably take it by, by, with one of the roots and just kind of like head it to himself. His uh, yeah. arms are still free. So, <laughs> with that bit done with, <laughs> you travel back by foot. 
Uh, I can fly to get him. I, yeah, I'd assume when we noticed when we we're telling him to go, we would probably like fly out. Make everyone leave the swamp. Do should I bother with the Yester Hill map? Uh, uh, no, I think we're leaving. Yeah, I'm just I'm just measuring time spent here. That's all I'm really caring about. <laughs> or are we gonna like sleep here, bros? <laughs> Yeah, I think we try to meet up with you to make sure you actually got out or not, so... Uh, I think, yeah, I think me and Ark will go to get him, because we can fly. I'm gonna him. fucking lay down and fucking <laughs> start breathing. And then we'll go go back to the rest of the party in the Barrett's Mire. Okay. I don't think we should come overnight, though. Either way, Horngard and everybody else is thrown in Barrett's Mire. As you guys travel to Yester Hill, you do eventually find them to your relief. Uh, unharmed, miraculously, in the power of Dash. Um... <laughs> Dash and non-stop dash. <laughs> <laughs> Rumi sanity trend. <laughs> You're stunned for the next six hours. Um, but <laughs> um, no, yeah. Jokes aside, you do find him to your relief, and he, one of you or the two of you with advantage can probably bring him back to the mire if you so wish. Uh, all right. Strength. But good, good job, guys. You rid Radeka, and now I officially cannot bring her back to this campaign. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I just can I like stab her with the flip the feather? You're just like oh fuck. What, yeah, was, honestly, what does I that heard, do? I heard, I I heard the pause and I'm like oh shit she's dead. <laughs> she's dead. So uh. in into cars to answer your question into cars position is a angel's feather the same one belonging to the abbot to Xafam that he tracked the angel with. Since it is such a divine godly thing, it is equivalent to a god's touch. I will allow it. You can only kill ghosts with very specific items, and I was like, I forgot you have that item. So I'm not gonna monkey pie you. <laughs> uh, give me more. Yeah, so all in all, Radeka's out of here, and nobody's warning Strahd or anything, so there's that. Bro, this worked. Silence all witnesses. Takar, I'm glad to see you made it. He's gonna be right back. So, <laughs> it's been a few hours at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Horgar is back and he's just like, <laughs> what I miss? Like <laughs> fucking. We killed Radeka. Good. Fucking nice. Then we have a nightmare. Do you have Revivify? That's he does, he does not have any resurrection magic. But good job, guys. Like, that was cool. That was very creative. I like that. That was, that was, that was funny. I, I was like, should I be a dick and just leave somebody in the room? Oh, you should. You should animate that. That'd be fucking funny. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm gonna make the horse a little bit smaller just because it's said it's not relevant. But, um, yeah, with, with the high blood hives burning in the, the background, you have... I guess you really hate me with a monologue, eh? <laughs> For king. I mean, she brought it upon herself. To be fair, you guys, you guys save yourself from, from, like, eons of torment should you die in Barovia, so... No one's good. good. Alright. I wonder um, if Strahd knows, that, like, somehow he has some way to keep tabs on his wives. Probably. But worry about time, it when, when the not. time comes, yeah. So, like, Horngar just comes comes back with a torch in hand, and he's just like, what did I miss? I killed that bitch again. Badass. And he just, like, fist bumps every single one of you. <laughs> Throws the fucking torch in the... in the... in the... pot. <laughs> and prepares for a long rest. All oh, right. I just imagine S S Sparrow just standing there in the background, T posing like he's AFK. <laughs> <laughs> AFK T pose boy. Yeah. Hello, dog. Fucking nice. So, uh, but no, all right. Still yet to take any damage. Do you, yeah, D'Artagnan? You've wow. You you're like riding this high. You're experiencing this world the next quite literally. Uh, do you wish to do anything with this horse? Salvage it. With what? You cut out. The horse, do you want to salvage anything from it, you barbarian? Uh, get its mane, it's fire mane. It's mane's like out. Yeah. Oh. It's just like a trivial burnt horse, horse corpse. Okay, Grills is out. Maybe the skin useful. Oh, maybe it's on a nightmare's corpse. Maybe its skin can light up. I'm also taking that. trophies, but like it's just a fancy magic horse. Like it just feels kind of wrong. Yeah, but can, I, can I see what part of it is magical? It's who is it magical? Will you tell me? Yes. Then do it. For me, Arcana. It would be much. Everything is good, but we'll see how good it is. Oh my fucking god! Luck is on your side all session today. His hooves are hooves. 
are indeed magical. You can still see them, even though it's dead. They still amber this this crackling green. Oh, the hooves are mad. I think we half, go back half and half. Where? Okay, wait, hold How up. How do you think you can act? I'm gonna look down at D'Artagnan's feet. I don't think I've ever actually paid attention. But like, dude, dude. Wait a second. Dragon do I have hooves? Oh, you look down. He has hooves. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dragon, Dragonborn have like claw feet. What about him? Wait. All right. Wait. Wait. What if Dakar. we amputate Takara's hooves and put these? Yeah, they have. Yeah. Takara has hooves poking through wreck boots. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I stole the guy's. Or not stole. I took the guy's <laughs> boots for saving his life. Okay. So do we? Do we? Cut off his. Hold on. Is that? it like horseshoes that are like glowy, or is it the hooves? His hooves. He doesn't have any horseshoes. So his hooves are quite damaged because of it, and kind of would have bled. If, yeah. Can All right. They, like, uh, can we find someone to forge something out of those hooves to make like? Uh, I'm going to assume it's it, the ethereal the stride Hague. ability. The Hague most surely could. Perhaps. Grandma. Yeah. Well, but hear me out now. Baba lasagna. Baba lasagna. Hey, they they do take like your deals. life, but can you? No, 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 no. You don't. You don't tell her that. But doesn't but she hey. know that all her sisters are dead? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. She might. But at the same time, we're bringing her this. No game. No life arc. We could get some sweet shit out of this. If we Isn't that an anime? Or... That is an anime. It is. <laughs> what do we have to <laughs> offer Weird, her? I couldn't follow it. The hooves. The, we're gonna offer the hooves? the hooves for her to make us something out of the hook. Yes, we have four hooves. I don't Give her two. Oh, we take okay. two back, and I then we kill her it. and get the hooves back. Yeah, Problem that solved. Might, that might not be that much of a command. Let's try it. Or here. we could just do granny. Now Green. the thing is, remember that they. I don't know if it applies to all hags, but that stone of sleepers thing. Is it not? Do they not all just have one? She very well could. So maybe However, she wouldn't want the hooves. I'll save you time to tell you that only Nightmare Hags have them. Each, okay. each, each Hag has a certain artifact. Uh, what's his face? Ark is holding the artifact of the Brewer Hag. Uh, Slug is holding the artifact of Night Hag. Each Hag has his own, her own thing. Oh, yeah. How so am I then she walk might in want there the with the artifact of the, her sister, the Ice Witch, right? Mm -hmm. Aren't they tight? Which reminds me, your course does, does proceed onwards because you did use the item again. Go ahead and roleplay, I'm just looking up what the item does again. Okay, so we can cut the hooves off. We can try to bargain her with the hooves. Um, well, the thing is, is, do you have to wear the hooves? Will they do it? I don't know. Maybe someone can Google it. What? That, that's not That's fair. why we ask the hag if she yes. can. If she, because I'm assuming we just clank them together and then we get teleported to the ethereal room. So, yeah. Ark, as you land your feet after using the broom of lime, the the snake, the gray staff, you look at your hand and instead of this like wood, it is instead covered in this like black wrinkly leather. Just That's weird. And tough, and you just hear the same cackling R and voice chime, the same song again, but adding this time another verse. Oh, this frozen weather, it will make your skin tougher than leather. And just... <coughs> Gonna go ahead and change that on your sheet, but yeah. It's Parker, a you curse oh, progresses. You nice. You made it a fucking leather. I'm cool with it. Robot, no. you're getting weirder every time you touch yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like this guy. I mean, I know I'm looking pretty sketchy with all these fucking dead things on me. And so, I, hey, like this weird mist. listen, don't we you talk to my robot about what like we that. must... To accomplish our goal. No, oh, so if I blow up the whole right. fucking world, we're, we're good and cool. What? 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 That's yeah, not well, moral justice. This this just made my skin stronger. <laughs> 18 AC. Okay, done. Cool. All right. <sighs> All right. I so gathered let's cut the, hooves. Off the hooves. Now, question. Mm -hmm. Are they? If we, like, take the skin, is there any way other than Continual Flame to make it light up again? Like burning it, I guess. But without it, you know, it'd There's be cool fire. Light. Like the spell light. Um, am I following you here? I want it. I want it to be that fucking, their fire. That's Continual but Flame. If you want it to be a legendary. 
How stupid is like there's no okay. there's no way to replicate the bio, the bi whatever biological process was that gave it that flaming property. Oh, well. Can let me ask you why? I'm just curious. I just wanted to look cooler. You wanted to make your flame green. <laughs> I wanted to make more of me on fire. Mm. You can just cast continual cast. flame though. No. It's just the same. It's not the same. <laughs> But you could cast continual flame on your entire body. The thing with the yeah. thing why I'm saying no is because that flame actually has heat and light. Like it's Purpose an actual flame, it's not an illusion. And and that was a biological kind of like function of it. Oh god. Takara, do you want a skull? It's kinda of cool. Can I stab the rimmer's hand through it? <laughs> through the flesh? Yeah. Yeah. Better fire. Upgrade the flames. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, I'll allow it. The infectious magics, the necromantic infectious magics of this horse, still inert within this thing, get released as soon as you withdraw your blades. To, your meme becomes life, and your flames <laughs> sure. are now acid green. This legion green that I hate so much, playing that fucking expansion, ruined the color for me. Sorry, mini rant. You know that legion green? Fucking hate that shit. Yep. It's like everywhere in that expansion. I was like, ugh. Anyway, yeah. At this point, you fucking mutilated this corpse to point where it's no, no more use out of it. I, sure, I sure, Trent. I'll, I'll redraw your token again. Yeah. No, no. I was just trying to upgrade it. <laughs> Make upgrade it fire. Deal one more D four. You already deal like way. Fucking, no, I know. I was yeah. just. I wanted to be like upgrade my my flames. Yeah. Okay, at this point, and then nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> just call it. Yay. Uh, Damn it. As the sun begins to set behind this solitary hill of Argenbost Hole to the west, um, how do you do? You wish to take your long rest here? Do you, do you wish to do what? I do lay in the pot. <laughs> you lay in the pot full of full of demon acre? Oh shit! No, no, I didn't know there was demon acre in it. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, we kicked it over. Oh. Yeah, we did kick I... it over. So there's like a giant I... hole. Around. What? One time. One time. Sorry. Uh, no. I mean, what, whatever grew there died, but, you know, it still has, like, bits, a little bit of demon at the bottom of it, where, you know, because a, a cauldron is, like, concave-shaped orb. Uh, Ark, you were saying something? It, it, uh, is it, does it look acidic? Does it just wither things away? It's yeah, very acidic. It, it withers very things acidic. away, that's for sure. It has a, uh, bunch, a whole bunch of properties. There's um, a hole in Strahd's house, I'm pretty sure. No, dirt. Yeah, uh, I think it's what's, Strahd's what's house. left of Strahd's house. Yeah. No, no, you you dropped a little bit in Strahd's house. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's a little hole going through. Mm hmm. So. But it's in the cauldron perfectly fine, not melting through that. Yep. Probably hag magic or something. Exactly. Witches. Oh. Witches keep bitches, baby. Or. Bigs the cauldron. So, Iker has five properties all in all. Here's the handout for it for those of you who forgot. <clears throat> um, we did investigate it once. Uh, they're taking a rule kind of low. Uh, I think he drank yeah. some. And he discovered yeah. it firsthand how much it burns. Yes, I uh, burnt my tongue. So, any living material, it just kills. Like, it doesn't outright kill, but, like, it, you know, poison. Okay, so you know it kills living material. Yeah. Melts flesh and burns through soft material. Soft is, like, living, living, living material and, like, cloth and shit, you know? You're, you're leather now, Matt. Remember that. I I was wood before. <laughs> Both are living materials. Okay. Leather's not right. alive. Okay, whatever. but it's still leather's alive. It's from what? Leather's leather just, is leather's just animal flesh. Yeah, but yeah. animal flesh dies once. It's still a, it's still. You can still say like it's high. Whatever. I'm not gonna argue this point. You, you know what I'm talking, talking about. Yeah. yeah just Matt, Matt's flesh is not dead. Is what I'm saying. Um. <laughs> Mm, okay. Yeah, you can go uh, smell it, dude. You can go use your investigation on the. I was gonna suck it in my body, but hold up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't want to test that. I feel like that's a bad idea. It's so corrosive. Check. It will probably fucking melt you. Inside. Just do an Arcana check on it, dude. I guess yeah, I can. I can to see. Okay, so uh, let's do an Arcana check. Um, I'm assuming I want to see if it if it's like normally held in vials. Oh, sweet Jesus. Look at those rolls. Okay, so you just got all five properties, which nice. are thus. Um, can I list them oh, all in one, one go, please? Yes, I can. Okay. There you go. 
So, yeah, I guess go ahead and read. And ask me any questions if you have any. And I'll go ahead and add that. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to that handout. So we remember the properties. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Property four. Yeah. We have Strahd's book. You can make fancy tattoos. Mm -hmm. It is the exact same material used for inking that map in the deer hide. Oh, we need to keep this. I want this. Uh, God, I have... Oh, I have a herbalist kit. Would I that come if, with a vial? I wonder if we're going to have Demon Eker in uh, Avernus. Anyway, sorry, off topic. It would make sense, isn't it yeah. just blood? Yeah. Which means... I guess we haven't killed a So I would say you would have... Uh, let's do this. Let's rule this. Uh, 24 plus 3. You have... Five vials worth of the unique in that cauldron that you can recover if you so wish to use. Each each vial is like one use, one unique use. We'll keep them do we for have now. Vials if anyone for has a specific use for something, we can do. You can always say hi to Strahd. Ask him how he's doing. Yep. At a later time, maybe. Yeah, we could ask to be invited to that party, the wedding. So the Perhaps. use for that will be like message, where it's up to twenty words, because that's how much ink you have, pretty much. Uh, dilute it down. Um, but yeah, that'll work. Hey, Straw. Heard about the ball. Hey, Can man. Come, please. <laughs> Sorry Mom's about dead. wife. Yeah. <laughs> He's just, just like wife. <laughs> Reply back. Yeah. Sorry. Not enough demon nicker. <laughs> uh, Can you go to the ball? <laughs> just appears. Anyway, what I wanted to say to you, and that's when the anchor trails off, yeah. and like just like ends. Straw's already killing the first. <laughs> Yeah. Right. I'm gonna actually, here and read the book. Okay, so you sit down, like you know, the car. You have a bedroll, so you sit down that bedroll. I think Tartanian has a bedroll as well. You sit up on the moist cobblestone of the ruin, while Ark Sparrow and Myrtle make do with the limited comfort of their cloaks. Uh, you do you wanna? What are you reading there? Uh, the journal from uh, Per Petr Petr Putrida. 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 Putrid, duh. Oh, the adventure, the adventures off. Okay, yeah. cool. Is it just adventures of her? <laughs> Day thirty-seven of our adventure. Oh my god, Putrid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I read it and I. It's it it is yeah it is a diary of a on a serious note it used to be she used to be a druid an adventure like yourself traveling with you know her two um, best friends. And they, the, the, as you read through it, you read through adventures, the caverns explore, the herbs <laughs> they, they discover, the denotings of it, you know, typical druid stuff, talk to nature and all that, until the bitter end where they found themselves in Zmire, uh, met this also lovely Baba Lizaga, had a few talks with her, and eventually joined her. And over the years, the, the writing of the journal becomes more and more crooked and wild, until it's nigh illegible, and you get an idea that she has met her bitter end here. Never having escaped Barovia. Uh, I'm gonna keep the book. Yeah. Let me know if you want to know anything else about it. It's, it's just a little bit of flavor. I just wanted to know when she corrupted as a way of remembering her as who she was. Yeah, she was somebody before this, of course, and now she's yeah. just ashes. Um, so all of you she watch. The Tome this, of Dead People. Yeah, the Tome of Dead People. You watch the yeah. sky darken as for the next couple hours you spend your time doing anything else, any long, long rest activities you may want to do. Uh, before you go to sleep for the day for the next six hours. At this point, it'll be like kind of morning when you guys wake up. Is there any plants around? I guess Plen I still have plenty. Are there any plants around? This no, is, that's a good this question. isn't technically a plant, right? We didn't this. We didn't talk about that. Or we uh, did. It's this you, Fernando. Yeah. Fernando is a beast. He uh, he uses uh, plank like plank like <laughs> plant like flesh to come flesh, but he's not a plant creature no gotcha uh, okay what why do we want to try and talk to anybody using plant command i mean we I mean we, I know if we, we can if we can like if you could like try to talk to slack and we could get a drop of the blossom and we could like 
go north to the battlefield after everything and have a massive... They still have a vial of sap. Oh, then we don't need that. We already have one. Perfect. Do we want to do anything with that, then? Uh, it's for your consecrating grounds. Yeah. Right. Or and, uh, uh, mixing it with some other herbs gear. to make a healing thing. Mm -hmm. Do we want to consecrate this ground in the swamp? Uh, we were going to go do it to the battlefield. Is Which is in the Technically, if you want to, Dakar, there's no pressure. Plus, you know, drop a, some here and drop a, it down. The plant will sprout where it's dropped and produce more, so we can always grab some. You have quite some day. sprout through sunlight. Oh, true. You're talking about kish, kish blossoms. The ground oh. will, will not will be hollowed thus, so it's not like corrupted, on hollow ground like the vatish undead. But if you're talking about kish blossoms, you need true sunlight for that. Like constant true sunlight, or like? No, just, it's just a little bit for it to sprout. Okay. It's kind of, well, it's kind of like mean, the part of a ritual, yeah. We so can we cast activate. sunlight. Yeah. Do you think that's true sunlight? I mean, yes. Would DM counted as it? I think what? it says. What? We're talking about the the Raven amulet. That is true sunlight. So if we do the last use of it, it recharges every, the day. every dawn. Yeah. yeah. So we do. So we pop a thing down. Do the amulet, and then kish the thing bomb. spawns. Is that what you want to do? Up to you. I mean, with the amulet. a suggestion. I don't mind if we don't do it. Well, yeah. if we do, it will produce more syrup. So I'll pop. Uh, actually, where would you think would be a nice place to put it here? The most plantfully root-filled spot. Oh, we get to replace the big ass yeah. one that was over there. Yeah, I go over to the burned out giant. Uh, yeah, hive the, fest the festering out. mass of hive. It looks like it's a bunch of yeah. per burst egg right beside the <laughs> corpse of the. Okay. Yeah. Drop down golden sap and activate the last uses for today of the sunlight. Okay. So as you do so, bam! In a flash of light, it's just, it is practically day again. Where in with it, where you're standing everywhere, um, Hongar kind of shows his the eyes. light of Boros. The light of Boros! And as you do so, uh, you watch for the next five minutes, slowly, steadily, from this moist, glistening, gilded ground, pearl bark uh, roots sprout out, and a single flower blossoms out, its petals white with hints of gold. Um, you... What was the rule for that? I said one dose? Yeah, one dose per day? Yeah. That is Kish Blossoms. Yep. So the white petal flowers bloom wherever the probox tendrils meets the true sunlight. The blossom is rich with golden sap, and if harvested, contains enough for one vial. Once harvested, the bud enters a temporary hibernation and will bloom once more in 24 hours in true sunlight. So you have so, one golden sap vial in your inventory. Whoever wants to take it. So I refill it back up. <laughs> mm -hmm. And golden sap. Um, I have a whole entry on it there. I kind of shared it, right? But, but now there it is in it's again. there. Yep. Which means it can start slowly seeping around. I would like to point out that you have illuminated your location with true sunlight. <laughs> like I already knew it there. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, can I like deactivate the sun now? Uh, as an action, yeah, I'll give it to you. If not, y'all are gonna have to sleep through the sun. <laughs> No, it's for, it's for like 10 minutes, and afterwards it's just gonna bim his back and chills. It's like sleep behind a wall. So, Bobble is on minding her own business, sees the <laughs> through sunlight. The sun happened glares, twice. Twice. Glares into the <laughs> twice distance. in one night. <laughs> what are she's they doing over there? It's <laughs> Drod sitting at his castle. What the fuck is that? Literal. Right at <laughs> All this thing over there. Literal cleansing. It's like Strahd, and his Widow Seal just like watches the bear smile, like, hey, hey, I did that. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, sweating, like, what the fuck? Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's just sitting on his throne with the ballista next to him. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, uh oh. You, Wait you, a second. You imagine, like, we go into Strahd's throne room, and he just has like seven ballistas set up. He's like, hey, remember these things? <laughs> yeah. Remember that right. ballista you shot through? Point point right. ballista. Can we can we move five feet from where we are plot wise now? It's been like an hour. 
No. It's been two hours. We we, we stuck the same <laughs> fucking. <map. laughs> so, oh my god! Like kill me. Right, let's go to bed. <laughs> It's okay, like, I don't know, it's, it's fun and all, but I'm like, this is a, like, you know what I call these sessions? Five footers. Because yeah. they're literally like, inching forward in blood. Alright, I get inside this wall and I go to bed. Okay, you... Into the wall. <laughs> and, but like, seriously, okay, so that was good. That was, uh, I'll say, arc. anything else you want to do during... Because this, this is a long rest, don't waste activities if you want to do them. One last chance. Uh, for anything, I would like to commune with Bahamut while hi high out of my ass. <laughs> what? What do you say? Uh, thank you, Lord, for this mindful power to kill demons. Talk soon. Yeah, you're welcome. Talk soon. Hello, uh, I don't know what's happening again. Dude, you're talking to your god, you're supposed to hear him, aren't you? Wait, no, that was Argenvas hole. Bahamut's more like, Sa. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Whatever. Uh, no, I'm just gonna say to them, uh, tomorrow, when we eventually go see Bob Lasagna, and act like nothing happened, and try to get her to make us stuff. <laughs> what do you uh, mean? Nothing, I'm, gonna, I'm high. Nothing can I, happened. Can I hide this broom in, uh, the bag of holding? Yes. Okay, can well, it leave uh, me? The bag of holding is now cursed, and it's turned to leather. The curse well, does not be... lift off your body with you when you let go of that. You almost totally. kind of feel like hard to let go of it. Not like so much that it holds onto you, more like you hold onto it. Like my precious, but yeah. You can totally hide it in the bag of holding. It's I got you. I, I got I, I feel safe with it in the bag anyways. Not like I don't mistrust anybody here to steal it because they're you have, a, you have a you hint of voice it. in your head like the car's gonna might steal it, but you're trying to ignore it. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, burn it. Fine. They're too big to too big to fly. You know, they're too big to fly. That's like yeah. Dude, you think I don't, am? Huh? Don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. You think this thing can't carry me, huh? Hey, I don't test it, please. I start putting it underneath myself. Come on, Scar. <laughs> come on, dude. You don't think you can fly with me, huh? Yeah, come on, dude. Can you imagine it's a little joke. what it looks like? Put it back in the bag. Okay, the car. <laughs> the car has it between it in his legs. Ark, how do you feel about this? I'm going to instill fly, fear huh? into Car. So, as you clearly are battling this, the car make me a dexterity saving throw. The fucking broom just ye yeets up and just hits you in the balls, like as it's between your feet. Oh. And it like slowly hovers toward Ark. Okay, then I then I hold off my instilling of fear. <laughs> <laughs> Good night! Yeah. <laughs> hey, you then too. I'm gonna Drop is going to go to bed. The <laughs> I'm gonna command it to go into the uh, bag of holding. I open as much as I can the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> it obliges, yeah. It goes into the bag of holding. Oh my god. <laughs> Papa needs some rest. <laughs> do I take do I take any damage? Not physically. Just just scarring damage. All right. I was just trying to choke her out. <laughs> I'd rather burn that than ride it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone wants to volunteer to accompany? Uh, English is hard today. Anyone wants to volunteer we'll to accompany Horngard on his uh, nightly vigil? Oh, uh, I'll accompany him for a bit. Okay. What is he doing? Just uh, uh you know, watch. watch. Because we're playing oh, D and D. Okay. I will. Uh, I will watch uh, after my whatever it is, four hours of sleep, six hours of being inactive. Actually, oh, yeah, I'm always alert. Because you don't need fucking sleep, right? Yeah. I'll just I'll stand watch, but sleep, you know. The best part they about Warforged is they don't the sleep; they just fucking they're just inert. They're aware of yeah, everything. Yeah, they just don't move. Put them, so put you, them you on can't top even talk shit about them. Sorry, what? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll go up to the top of the wall and I'll just stand. <laughs> yeah, there. he gets into like the box formation. Increase sight. Like... <laughs> yeah, <sighs> good shit. All right, so let's move this forward, shall we? It's only been two hours. The gentle. Concurrence of toad, croaks, and crickets descend upon the swamp as firefly light blinks in and out of vision, hovering light. It, uh, distance, like the distance, starts not visible above you, hidden behind the uh, relentless gloom of Barovia. Above, um, I would say about an hour passes this way. Um, Hongard stands still as a corpse leaning against the wall of the ruin. Um, contemplative and immersed in his own thoughts. Occasionally, he does glance toward Utakar, you know, um, 
regarding you with a reassuring nod before returning to scanning his surroundings. I give him a thumbs up while I'm still recovering from ball, tr- ball slap. Yeah, like an hour later. <laughs> like, <laughs> still sore. I have sensitive ball student. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll, There's overall... There's reason why red makes me angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Um, yeah, the, the, the overall the this night is somber, almost calming, where it is not for the accompanying um, of the occasional wailing and screams coming from the ruins of the church. Like, the first time uh, almost made you jump. Um, Hongar, like, had his hand on his sword, and he listened in. Um, the screams uh, pierce the night, and through... Discordant shrieks, you can barely make out the words like that of a man preaching while being tortured. So, those of you that up... the boy that we saved? No. Uh, you recognize it, you would have recognized his voice, it is not um, Udo... Um, it, not Udo, but whatever his name is, the, the Burgermeister of his place, who used to be. Yeah. So, I mean, Ark can roll me a perception... I would okay. say, normal role, just because you are kind of aware of your surroundings, you can really react to them, but you can still record them in your database. The um, car, and... I I'm mean, gonna, like, see a minute, yeah. I just got fired from my job. Oof. Oof. Oh, okay. Yes. Rip, dude. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those layoff, maybe it's... Yeah, everything's temporary, oh. we'll, fi- we'll figure it out, kind of thing, yeah, it's fine. Um, so 20th perception, you do record this, you will be aware of this when you wake up. Um, the car as well, you will me a perception, because you are listening into this, if you are. Yeah, that's good enough. So, you do make out the, some of the words of the screaming. Uh, the, the voice sounds old, ancient, and as if it's struggling to draw out breath. Wisps of darkness trapped in their amber coffins! The dead, hateful gods watch us all! They witness all, know all! We are all ends under the glass. The wheels, they turn. Memory becomes tomorrow. The cycle turns until it all starts anew. That is not death, which can eternal lie. And with strange eons, even death may die. Yada, yada, yada. It's creepy. I yell. Shit. Yeah. Shut up, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Howard would kill you to put a coma in there. Howard yeah. would you but yeah, it sounds like an old man preaching while being tortured, coming from the church. Uh, suddenly, as these screams start, they vanish into the night, only to recur once more, time and time again, until the obscured sunrise light forms a pale gray line across the eastern horizon, at which point they stop. Overall, that, you got some rest, you went to sleep, to car after a while, um, yeah, two hours into watch, um, and, and Horngard stayed up because he doesn't need sleep. And with Ark staying vigil too, I'm going to say nobody else needs to really gruel another shift. Nothing much more happens throughout the night until, you know, come morning. Um, do we want to take a short break while Hunter is gone AFK? Oh, sounds so, good. I need some water, so I'm going to go ahead and take a short break. And we'll yeah, and start again next morning. Wait. Okay, I thought you meant like we're done for today. I was like, hold on, no, Tom, what? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm just gonna get some water and, and stuff, and Hunter's gonna yeah. come back. Uh, make a, he's probably make a few phone calls. Um, I'm sure he'll figure it out. Every every problem is temporary, right? Think about all the problems you ever have in your life, and looking back at them, there. I get eight charges back on the holy symbol. Awesome. So I'll uh, on your sheet, you actually have a spot for that. It's uh, oh, yeah, I do have it. Yeah, I add it to your sheet. And yep. everybody... I mean, Matt always recovers his, his, his spell slots. Uh, don't forget, it looks like the hit dice uh, reverted back to D4s again. Did I? Do you know how to fix that, or do you want me to do it? I fixed mine. Yeah, it's over in your settings. So go ahead and recover your health. Just remember that uh, you re- refresh your, your dice. If you had any, you can use them, and then you refresh them, and you can use them again. But yeah. uh, you don't heal to full health. Um, but I'm pretty sure all of you should be fine. The car is there. You go. Got one and I wasted all of the hit dice that I had before it, and go back to nine. Nice, very nice. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get some water, and I'll be back in like a minute. Great. This is fun. I fucking love the fucking ethereal part. Funny.
I was I was like, mm, <laughs> Trent, do you have a spare character you want to play for the rest of this campaign? Like, while well, we do a one shot with the card in Ethereum Realm, or? <laughs> but I was like, nah. <laughs> Just fucking book it, dude. That was just supposed to be like a flavor bit, too. That was just supposed to be like Rebecca be like, You killed me, but you didn't. Haha, -ha, we'll see you on the other side. And she vanishes. And you guys, like, <laughs> nope. we enter combat. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. Grab my drink up if I'm going to get some water. Yeah. Eat the one, Matt. Was that like Trent? Was it like the car's first time ever in like in the Ethereal realm? Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, he had the memories. But I guess, yeah, I was gonna say. But at the same time, I was playing it as he knows there's definitely something gonna fuck yeah. him up. That's why he fucking ran. Yeah. Mock speed. He was like, nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I know what's in here, and I'm fu I don't want to fuck with it. Nope. Honestly, if, if you dash mathematically, you just outrun like almost everything in there, except for a flying thing. If you got a flying thing, I would have done combat. The flying yeah. horse, whatever they're called. Oh, that's all Boros. That's all, uh, not Boros. That's all uh, Ravnica, too. Yeah. So, so it's like... Yeah, if you showed like... me the consumer, the, the consuming aberrant or whatever, mm -hmm. I would have been like, that... <laughs> Like, Takao would know about this stuff. He's like, oh, exactly. goddamn That's Demir. Like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to be like, That's why I don't like Demir shit. <laughs> or That's why I don't like Orzov bullshit. Yeah. That's funny. So, what are the Sour Sworn in, in Ravnica? I don't know. No? Okay. Sour Sworn. Sor sorrow, not Sour, sorry. S sorrow Sworn. Because my companions are like beasts of the realm, but like in 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 Ravnica, there, there must be like a whole other thing. Are the shadow fells most despair? I think they're. I think they're they're magic cards, but they're also mainly D and D story stuff. They don't have like any plot or anything. Um, hold on. Uh, We're gonna make a custom, custom, custom magic item now. So we got, okay, so we got Hooves of Nightmare. Uh, you got Antana, Antana, a, of the Keeper. Um, what else did you get there? I don't remember. Oh yeah, and the skull of skull of Redeka. They might not be magic items per se, but they all have a use, and I'm gonna write up a use for them. Oh, and you have fucking well, I already have handouts for Eker. Hmm. I wonder what D'Artagnan's planning because so far he's like. He's carrying like the the, the, the this all this to intimidate inti to intimidate like lesser beings and that would work, but it's like Strach was up, sees his wife's skull, stretches fucking D'Artagnan's, clutches his fist, the armor instantly just squishes him on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> the armor just like takes control of his body. It's like, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> Trent, you are breathing into your mic a little bit, I think. Might just be the fan. Right, okay. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, I think most of... I think Sora Sworn is non-canon of Magic the Gathering game. Hmm. But they are whatever you can find of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I have them, I think they're from Volos, and I know what they are. Right. No, they're from Ravnica, right? So, in the book, 
Hmm, let me look this up. Ah, uh, yes, rolling for health. <laughs> yeah. Sour Sworn, what page are you on? Mm -hmm. Woo. 205, okay. So what do I have on them? Horrors! Terrifying evil stalk fly and scuttle in the dark corners of Ravnikov from the depths of the Undercity to the black, blackest parts of the night sky. Collectively, these creatures are called horrors, a variety of things that lurk in the dark and embody the deepest fears of Ravnica's people. All are evil creatures uh, with dim, risen, dim, dim reason and pretend pre... That's a big word. Pre... Paternal nature roll cunning god. At least three guilds have been known to compel horrors into service. Um, of course, House Demir, um, horse spread fear and despair in the citizenry and carry out assassinations or kidnappings against well protected uh, targets. For the cult of Rakdos, horrors are simply one more weapon in the arsenal of terrifying and shock inspiring creatures that might appear on the stage. For the Golgari swarm, whores scavenge the sewers and protect the guild's territory. House Demir uses all three base kind of whores. The cult of Rakdos prefers shadow whores, and the Golgari swarm uh, use skittering whores. Whores and madness. Okay, anyway, yeah, it goes on and on. So yeah, they're just kind of like part of the expanding universe, I suppose. Just made for D&D. Yeah. They're not they don't really have a specific lore. They're just like, oh, here's terrifying things I mean... that we use. Horror is a creature type mm -hmm. in magic. It's one of my favorite creature types. Yeah. I use the but, Demir, uh, the Demir type, whatever it is. That's pretty much what the Sour Sworn is are in my campaign. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, so maybe horror in general is more where they get their stories from. Mm hmm. But they do have... Okay, here's the thing. I tried rolling initiative, it didn't roll because the thing did not have stat blocks. And I'm thinking... I'm pretty sure I made stat blocks for them. So I'm wondering what the hell happened. Creatures of the Realm. <sighs> oh, I don't have them for Sour Swarms, I have them for the Horrors. Right. The Sour Swarms are speciality. Okay, I see now. Weird. Okay, well. Uh. Oh! Because I was reading horrors. That's, okay, so where are Sour Sworn from? Sour Sworn are from, from. They're not from Ravnica. They're, uh. They're, they are from Volos, right? Yeah, they're fake. Sworn. No, they're not fake. Well, they're from, uh, Shadowfell, sorry. Yeah, no, that. Sh Shosuva. Is that it? No. Okay, 5e Shadow Room are from what book? Please. Um, Morton Kynan's Tome of Foes. Okay, cool. Yeah, Morton Kynan will have an entry on them. Tome of Foes. Yeah, that can be an interesting um, uh, arc for the Mad Mage if you ever do that. Whoa. Because you would know about them. Yeah, dude. There's a dope-ass corpse. They're enchantment. It's just one colorless, one black. Exile one or more creature cards from your graveyard. And then put an XX black zombie horror onto the battlefield, where X is twice the number of cards exiled. Yikes. 
So that could be a fucking game ender right there. Okay, ready for this? Yeah. Sorrow Sworn. The Shadowfell's uh, pervasive melancholy sometimes gives rise to strange uh, incarnations of the plane's bleak nature. The Sorrow Sworns embody the forms of suffering that are inherent to the shadowy landscape, and they visit horror. They visit. Ah, they visit horror. Uh, on those who stumble in their midst. Motions given form. Each star person personifies a different aspect of despair or distress. Some are manifestations of anger, other are loneliness given physical form. Their nature provides a clue both to the understanding uh, how they become more powerful and to overcoming them. Giving in to the negative emotions that our star sworn represents causes these uh, entities to grow deadlier. Uh, fighting against those emotions can weaken them and drive them away. Yeah, and it just goes on to describe each of them. The lonely, the sorrow of isolation of, uh, afflicts many creatures that lurk in Shadowfell, but the need of companionship is never manifested more dramatically than in the lonely. When these sorrow sworn uh, spot other creatures, they feel keenly the need of interaction, and so they launch their Harpoon like arms to to drag their victims closer. <laughs> I just want to hug. It is CR nine, so technically you guys could face it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's why I don't have sheets for them because they're for more in kinds. And I didn't have the book back then, so I just kind of put them in a campaign. I was like, I'm gonna edit them later. Okay. <laughs> Note Wait, to self. So that was something we were gonna fight. That was something you would have fought if you stayed for a minute uh, in the uh, ethereal realm uh, in like one spot. It 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 senses you, it chases you, but if you use dash action every turn, it will not catch up to you. At, le at least not it. It's pretty fucking slow. But yeah, um, there's a whole bunch of creatures that are in, in the ethereal realm that we can visit if need be. But uh, that's really more like Slux realm because he has the stone. To visit it, and the only other way into the ethereal realm is through things like nightmares. It's kind of fitting that, like, you kill Rodeca, you kill a ghost, and you kill her horse. Yeah, anyway, you are we all back here now? Uh, just Hunter. Well, I mean, I don't know, fucking, I'm gonna master him, I guess. Yeah, if he's good to keep going, if not, then yeah. I know it's big and all that, but like, is it something that he can deal with after the session, or...? <laughs> yeah... I think he'll rejoin us. My fucking god. I love 2-4. That was a fucking hilarious map. Two, four. The bridge is just forever. <laughs> Have you ever played the one where there's another fort in the middle? Uh, no. So there's a bridge that leads to a fort in the middle, then you have to go through that fort to go past to the other bridge to the other fort. Jeez. And then there's one where they completely removed the bridge. <laughs> So it's both forts right next to each other. No the middle ground. I played was like I think one of the last renditions of Two Fort, where it's just they got it just as long as it can go before it's like <laughs> the server starts lagging, yeah. and it's like a ten minute run. Yeah. Or people like people like oh you all sneak, and then they go to the water, and it's like you're swimming through the ocean. Yeah, the fucking I like the other one where it's like. I forget what it's called, but it's without the bridge, and the forts are right next to each other. So, that, like, you open a like door. Fun. You open the door, and the other base is right there. Yeah. There's no sniper spot. <laughs> Thank God, dude. <sighs> oh, it's fucking great. I'm assuming Greg just kept sleeping. Possible. He did, uh, did have a later shift this morning or whatever. Well, he joined our call, and he said he got replaced. 
Right. That's when that he was at like up. noon, right? Or close to noon. Yeah. But he said he would go to bed and see us at D and D. So. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, Hunter's gonna join us in a minute. Uh, do we want to just keep keep going? Or do you want to? Uh, do, sure. do we want to wait for him, or do we want to keep going? It's up to the group, really. Uh, he said he'll wait a minute, so. Okay. I'm fine waiting. Okay, sounds good yeah. to me. Um, yeah. It's fine. It gives me time to like think of uses for those three items you guys picked up. I don't want to over such. Hmm. This <laughs> bitch you ain't escaping again. No. Hooves of a Nightmare, Antenna of the Keeper, and Skull of Fredeca. Let's see here. Now the hooves, we're trying to... I really like how we're going to go to Baba Lasagna and not just try to cook it right away. Instead, try to talk to her. I yeah. don't like that. I know, I know that, like, we just burnt her coven. I'm sure she knows. I'd be surprised do if she like... doesn't. Don't don't assume. Don't don't ever assume anything. I'm not that kind of DM who's like, ha, no, I have the advantage. <laughs> well, it is kind of funny how you guys couldn't have made it any more obvious that you guys are here. The yeah, fact that you guys long, I mean, the, 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 the fact that you guys long rested without nothing happening except for that scream, might be for a reason. Right. So. Either she's spooked and ready to go, or I mean, I'm I'm sure she knows. I. I, I'm sure because she flame knows. blast everything and then a blizzard. But that's why it might point. be. Maybe it's just a cavern, like messing around with weird magic. <laughs> like, yeah, like, totally normal. Yeah. She like steps out, like God damn it! I told you not to use daylight. <laughs> Stop concocting bottles of daylight, God damn it! Bottled no. sun. Yeah, bottled sunlight. Yeah. I think that's a thing. I think it's the potion of daylight is a thing. Could you imagine? So you, you have an item it? that casts yeah. per, like light in a permanent object. So a little pebble, right? Okay. Or like you engineer it, and then okay. you just you keep putting them in this like magic bottle that holds as much as you want it to, whatever. Yeah. And you just open it up in front of somebody, just concealed light. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were like gonna go like with a bunch of marbles in a bottle, but like infant marbles, and then like, you just open it, you dispense the floor, marbles and just a bunch of, of sh light. shining marbles of light, and it's just like, no, my one weakness. I did want to, one time, I don't even remember what campaign this was in. We had a bottle of like everlasting water or some, which is constantly pour out, and. uh flavor and it ended up like being broken at the top because sam wanted it to pour more water or some shit okay so chris was like sure it pours a bit more like twice as much water so it's like a faucet yeah so we were the, like okay the, the, the decanter of infinite water that one yeah yeah so we wanted to board up this tower that someone was hiding in and just throw the bottle up top and just let it pour so they'd eventually flood. Well, you guys talking about like the setting this pebble stone on fire, throwing the lake. I'm like the funniest part about all that is that it would fucking work. Yeah. Like you, you will flood Castle Ravenloft from the basement yeah. up. And I'm like, because the law of physics, if I was trying to be smart about this, is as long as, long as the first container is fuller than the other one, water will keep flowing. Doesn't matter on the level, like sea level. Oh. It'll definitely be possible. That that's one of the first things I, anyone's ever said to me about D and D. Like something about setting a teleport, or a it was like it was like a box, dimension box or something. You can like open it up, putting one in the ocean. Yeah. And then just having water at all times. Yeah. Boom. Because relative location does not matter anymore. Because it is it is it is simply an endpoint in reality. Uh, like a hole on two sides of the page that you just kind of fold the page and you just link them into one. It's not like, oh, well, the portal hole is higher than the other one, so physics. No, it's like the, the point where the portal opens and where the other one opens is the same point in reality. And it's like, yeah, you can drain oceans with that. It's into insane. space, yeah. It's fucking hilarious. Which would be funny because I'll expose what's on the bottom of Lake <laughs> Zarafetch. It's like, oh, cool. 
Oh, you, actually, actually, everything else aside, we did actually want to drown that lake because isn't there an underwater dungeon or something? Maybe. No idea. It's one of those things where like games like there is now. <laughs> you you go through this cool idea. You go through it. You succeed through all the checks, and then there's nothing on the bottom. How does it feel, Ark? No, I'm not one of those teams. Well, I mean, I mean, it was just a lake. Congrats. It is also an option. Yeah, but like this is Barovia, and we already met one Koto. Where the fuck do you think they reside? That's fair. Um, if it's cool, I, if it's cool, I do it. Um, I'll just let Hunter know that we are. I mean, take, take his time, but we are waiting for him. Um. Well, he said go on. Oh, it's not a bit. I don't want him to like come back like all sad and stuff. If he, if he is still dealing with whatever, then I'm not gonna make him, you know, play. Um, but if it's not gonna be too long, right. then great. Matt, I need you for a second here. What's up? I'm gonna send you a video. It's of uh, Mordekaiser's skin. That yeah. go to 32 seconds and tell me, or well, when they first show whatever the fucking tell me if he's beating up himself or if they somehow have the old Mordekaiser. Also, go to 34 seconds and pause it there and just look at the model for fucking <laughs> that whack. Yeah, but. Boy- Nothingness. Um, that is old Mordekaiser. That's what I thought. All right. Yeah. Also, I really want to show you. Have you? Did you pause at thirty-four? Yeah. Did you just the fucking pose that he's in? <laughs> his arms are so extended, and he's like, he's like, he's flopping. Yeah, that's the whacked overhand. It's all the strength. <laughs> Literally, it expands his fucking mates. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking... I'm snipping that. Yeah, he's like opening the void as he's striking. Everything is getting warped. Fucking... Save as... You know what now I'm excited for that I really shouldn't be? What? A good Warhammer game. Hopefully. Like a good Here you go, Tom, action. so I can... For a moment, for Papa, for the glory of the Soviet Union. <laughs> <laughs> I like how her face, she's so happy with it, too. Yeah. Glory be to Soviet Union. Mm-hmm. It makes me patriotic for a place I'm not even a part of. Here you go, Tom. What is this? Look at that. Look at that. What is this? I don't... I don't... <laughs> That's when you get Q it? is Mordekaiser. I don't... Uh, I don't get it, though. Alright, here's what he... Uh... Oh, fuck. Give me a second to get... You probably just need to watch the animation. To be honest. Like, yeah. Hold on, let me get, a, let me get you the view. Sending you another picture. Man, we're hey, playing uh, we're playing greedy realism here. Like a long rest is actually a long rest. Like you have to like RP for an hour and a half. <laughs> long rest is ambiance and everything. Like we're making marshmallows. Um sharing pictures of fucking Yo, you can share right. picture pictures in Roll Twenty now. There you go. See that little picture of him all cool like that? Or you can even watch the video of what I'm he actually looks video. like. Yeah. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> oh, I love when you like pause animations because it's real cool to see the fluid, like how they make it so fluid looking. Mm-hmm. 
through like a yeah, distortion. Stretching, yeah. Yeah, but it's when you pause it, it's so jank looking. <laughs> so I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the you know the bit. It's 34 seconds is when he actually does it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mordekaiser is another person that I absolutely love playing. Yeah, you like to jump in melee people, yeah. I love that. It's the reason why I played a lot of them in Smite. Yeah. It's my favorite type, being super tanky fighter. And can actually, like, do stuff Wait, by themselves. Wait, 34 seconds, you said? 34 seconds is when that animation happens. The one that I got the little screen capture of with the Like the, 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 the axe hit? Yeah, he slams down with his mace. Okay, let me see the picture now. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> now I see it. I'm like, I was like, what is why in this picture? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Like that leg is there, and and just like <laughs> his arms, not even holding it too. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny. His shoulders are going into him. Yeah. <laughs> But it's because when you animate, they don't do frame by frame animation anymore. They do what's called tweening, yeah. and that's but like it also okay, you have makes one it frame. super fluid too. Oh yeah, you have one frame of action and another frame of action is like six frames later, and I just let the computer like compute what's in between them, and yeah, you'll get jank like that all the time. <laughs> it makes but like it super when you fluid. play it, like even uh, yeah, even Poppy has stuff like that. But oh, it's so good looking. It makes it so fluid inside of the game. Huh. But then, yeah, jank. <laughs> yeah. Third of my videos just gonna be us sitting here talking, talking <laughs> League of Legends. <laughs> yeah. Hit that bell if you like jank. Uh, Only if I, you like jank. Because I don't want, I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut in the middle because then I have to like um, splice it oh, up and, and stitch it together kind of thing and it, that takes yeah, yeah. eight hours to render and I'm like I can just upload a video in like an hour just and... remember not to open up inappropriate pictures uh oh, you mean pornhub.com like I'm doing right now <laughs> yeah I should actually not do... I was gonna do this as a joke but I was like this is YouTube I'm gonna get banned <laughs> instantly yeah this content is made for kids apparently which means you're not getting money anyways. You know what's funny? We could definitely like message uh, like Greg and, and be like, oh, sorry guys, I missed like three hours. And we're like, you didn't miss fucking anything. We're still, <laughs> we're, still, we're still where we started. We just had our long rest. Yes. <laughs> He's going to be like, wait, what? Yeah. I mean, we, I could. I mean, where's Greg? I thought I had online yet. I'm still asleep probably. Yikes. Okay. He works tonight, right? The, well, their whole reason yes. why we do it, but oh, okay. I was under impression that. No, the whole reason we do this is for right now is for the fact that Hunter gets back. It works, works better every... with Greg too because he'll be like awake. I mean, does as it? Opposed to after work, yeah. Last time it worked fine. I mean, well, does I mean, it? Does it with up. Hunter? Like, I mean, like it's everything does it. You know, like whatever. So, a quick yeah. thing. Like an interesting thing I learned is if I click on a token and I press Control L, I can look through that token's vision. That's weird. Yeah, it's super cool. So like I can like see how much uh, how much Tartanian see. Like the car is fucking blind right now. <laughs> oh, that is a yeah. nice firefly in the distance there. Hmm, yes. Hmm. But it's cool because like me as a DM, I see the entire map at all times, and it's like I don't. I don't have that say on beyond. Oh, and that's beyond. that's why I'm okay with Ark having so much vision, because even then you can still tell when it's nighttime and when it's not or whatever. You can tell when there's a source of light or not, you just can't tell colors. I wish though that, that was an option with vision. Be like if you yeah, don't I have it's a source of light. Uh well no, you can see if it's a source of light because you can see like the light around fireflies on your map. But I wish that was an option of like if you if you see into dim light there's no color, just black and white. That would be nice. That'd be yeah. actually be really nice. Because like most times when I see this, I just I see everything. I don't actually know. Yeah. 
but you don't see it as brightly as like bright light. Yeah. Like the car, for example. If you look around the car, oh right, right, right. Yeah. He this has like bright. bright light always around the car, and it's kind of like that's why I don't worry about self from a long distance anymore. I'm just like I'm just gonna assume they saw you, and this is what happens when they see you, unless the car puts yeah. on a towel. Never, never present the boar's light. Garlic jello. You know, it sounds gross, but I'm Russian, so to me it sounds delicious. Because we garlic actually make jello? that, for, yeah, garlic jello. We make that. We make uh, beef fat and garlic jello for Christmas. It's called haladets, and it's super good. Yo, shout out to all my Russian people okay. eating haladets uh, while watching this. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm I'm back. It's That's okay as, as long as you still want to play. As long as you're still down. Yeah, you're still yeah, down. I really do. Okay. Nice. We'll deal with it after a session. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, chugging right along down this train. Come morning, um, you all wake up. You know, get your things, roll up your bed. Uh, uh, you still keeping that broom in the in the bag? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, the Tenian, from high above, you hear the flutter of wings and look up just in time to see a raven with monarch orange streaked feathers release something from its talons hold, letting it fall into your grip. Uh, I pick it up. What is yeah. it? So in your hold is a fist-sized hollowed-out horn with an iron seal cap. It bears the... Hey, it bears, like, sigils and scratchings put there by some clawed being. You're not too sure if it's writing or not, not. but it has a hefty weight to it and feels as if it's full of sand. And then you all see this raven um, circle back land. Um, it is that of the Martikovs, uh, you know. It, it reforms into a shape of a woman um, with a mask on. Uh, you know, as the shape shifts into the form of a woman, uh, you, uh, you see that she dons split armor and black fur trim cloak. Her hair is jet black, cut short, and her features resemble that of a Martikov. Uh, same sharp cut cheekbones and a studying gaze. Actually, you know what? I have a token for her. There it is. Oh, and I can actually highlight her too. There you go. Damn. That's a new. She looks pretty, pretty cool. Cool. Victoria Martikov, Ford Scout Captain and apparently your supply fetcher. That right there is a fine blend of potassium nitrate, charcoal, airflow, sulfur, lead, dextrin, and alcohol. In short, gunpowder. Keep up the good work, champs. We'll await word for your, your success. And she forms back into a raven and heads um, away uh, east. Boom boom powder. Boom boom powder. Boom boom powder. The powder. The powder horn is in fact yeah full of gunpowder. So uh, you have gunpowder functions as, as normally. The horn. I'm just gonna give it a little property. You know, if you ignite the whole horn, it will explode. Um, you know, as a mm -hmm. typical grenade-like explosion of fire. Um, mm -hmm. aside from that, yeah, you have your gunpowder back as you requested beforehand. Cool. I yes. can shoot my gun. Yes, and... yes. And craft more grenades should you want to. Um, yes. Still have your old one. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would say like Myrtle has covered her mask in suit and mud, giving it an, uh, a tremendous camouflage that hides her face beneath her hood. With her dagger in hand, she is ready to, uh, you know, for the final assault on Babala Zaga, should you guys choose to venture out. Gonna have her put on her mask. Yeah. Um... What if we went up to Baba Lasagna and was like, Hey, here's a horn. It's a gift. <laughs> and then you Fireball. Yeah, it has a whisk, like, sizzling. And <laughs> like, Cool, we're, we're gonna thing. go. <laughs> Swish him in she's just, Oh, no, no, I can't take a gift <laughs> from <laughs> you. Just back. It back no, 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 <laughs> no. No, no, it's a gift. You gotta take it. It's a I gift. Yeah, I'll, 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 leave it on the, I'll leave it on the counter. Leave it on the yeah. counter. <laughs> just throw it at her. Panic shot. <laughs> Yeah. 
that's good. That's funny. Yeah, so you guys wish to do anything else before... I um, think we all agreed that we're venturing out to... Um, Babazaga? I think we're ready to go to Babazania. I'm gonna kill the bitch. Okay. Alright. That's... I thought you wanted to make a deal with her. After we made the deal with her. Yep. Alright. Everybody have vision? It's loading. Yes. It's loading. Okay, I'll describe the scene and you guys can proceed after my description. Um, let's see, everybody's here. I think everybody's here. Yeah, that's about it. So, the oh. day is young and the sun has uh, not yet breached the eastern horizon. You can kind of see a gray line across that uh, spoken horizon. As you proceed, are you are in the lower... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I lower left, so. yes. As you proceed onwards through the dew-covered underbrush and you approach the approximate spot marked on both... Um, uh, you know, on, on a deerskin map of yours with a crawling, crooking thing. Um, you finally reach that spot. An unnatural darkness surrounds the area through which you glimpsed a strobe of hundreds of fireflies. Myrtle and Fernando both crouch low on the ground, moving with the grace of wild beasts on the hunt. She turns to look at the car and casts continual flame on the car's horns, extinguishing their fire before disappearing into the dark. Hey! <laughs> Damn it, I don't want to spend another goddamn spell. I got some things doing. Uh, Tom? Yes. Why is my AC 22? I thought it was 23. One moment. Well, I might just I fix. be completely mistaken. I fix. I think I know why. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> I don't know, Takara, your token's still super bright. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I can only fix one thing at a time. There you go, is it fixed now? Uh, yeah, thanks. Yep. Uh, I'll double check Hold after session my... to see if I was going crazy. Now, hold on my sort of glowing hand dagger thing. I mean, I guess this thing still glows a bit. Do you... <laughs> the walking glow stick, aren't you, Takara? Uh, well, I don't want to spend another spell, I'll do it after. Oh my god. You just cast light again. You're right. I do have light. <laughs> don't don't use it yet. <laughs> I hold up my finger, light? getting ready to cast light on my horse. Also, Dakar, uh, do you have all the gold on you? Uh, no. Fuck. I got seventeen gold. Shit. Who has all the gold? The bag of holding. The bag of holding. Can I, can I borrow a hundred of it? Uh, did we not spend a lot of it? No. You have a whole spent. lot of gold, on you? I was trying to remember... No, we didn't spend it at Jenny. You have like 250 uh, gold yeah. pieces, plus all the other coins, so... And gemstones, so and all that, so you have gold, yeah. What do you need for circle? Uh, just a hundred. Or holy what water, say? or silver dust. It says silver dust worth. 100,000 gold, or 100. Oh my, oh my god, that's a big circle, boy! <laughs> yes. So you you have to get the silver dust. You can't use just gold. No, I'm pretty sure it said 100 GP. They said worth. No. When a thing says something worth that, it means you still, it's not like, the money isn't replaceable. I'm pretty sure. Holy water, or powdered silver and iron worth... Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can't... Yeah, that makes... Give me sense. a second. Never mind. No, you're sure. correct. I'm not, I'm not... I'm just the one you guys discuss it so he realizes it himself before I make it concrete. Yes. That is the case with yeah, all sure. components. Yeah. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I can't just give you the gold for that. You gotta actually get the silver dust worth that much. That's a lot of silver dust, probably. Yeah. Oh, wait, you just need a little holy water. Oh, wait, we threw it at the fire. Yep. <laughs> All of it. Yep. Wait, no. Again. No, no, we didn't. We didn't. Hold. Wait, you're right. I still have that asper bone asperlum with five ounces of holy water. I have two water skins of holy water. Oh. You have Why didn't what? you throw it at the... Two water skins <laughs> of holy water? In my inventory. 
while ago I had the just before the champagne. Yeah, right. Turn 4G plus. How much do you have on you, Takar? 17. 17? What? 70 what? Gold. No, how oh. much holy water do you have on you? Uh, five ounces inside of my bone aspergill. <laughs> so that's 29 G worth of holy water. We need 100 G worth of holy water. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. I would Yum. say, just for the sake of, of fairness, that would reduce the cost of the spell by 50%. I th think? Yeah. Hold on. Okay, how many? How, how much silver do you think a gold bullet is worth? A, a silver bullet, you mean? Yep. Um, a lot, probably. Jesus. I would give it like... Five per bullet. This four. Just All right. For, for the sake of the spell, like I'm, I'm not a stickler for it, but just. For sake like of the spell. I've been shooting my gun a lot. I have. Hold on though. Twenty-seven silver bullets. That's enough. Because it says four. I'm gonna say if you use up all your holy water on your persons and twenty bullets, that'll be enough for the spell. That'll be like the components right. for it. All right, it's done. The numbers are in. But. You, no holy water for your teammates. So, anyways, you guys figure that out. Uh, you may proceed however you wish. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, for the sake of this, I'm going to disclose how my character thinks Magic Circle works. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm casting it so the description goes in, but I'm not casting it. No, I understand. Yeah. Th this is it. Mm -hmm. So, which way would you like it to work? I, who are you asking here, sorry? Me or the group? The, the party. The party, yeah. She can either not go out of it, or can't go into it. I would prefer if she couldn't get out of it. Alright. That means she attacks us with disadvantage while she's in it. Pretty sure it was something like that, at least. Yeah. Protect Mind us. you, protect it us. is a casting time of one minute, right? It is a ritual. Uh, not a ritual spell, but it is a ritual... You must be casting it for one minute to set up the circle. So yep. it's kind of like you bind so, her and you put her in the center of a circle and you, you draw it around her and some shit. Or you pre-set it up as a trap, make her walk into it. Well, I, 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 was, I was thinking, um, it goes up 20 feet. How big is her house? You don't know. Well, we will know when we get close to it, right? Correct. Okay. Right now you're in the marsh, you're walking toward that spot on the map. You have right, reached we'll, it. We'll, we'll get there when we get there, I guess. Alright, lads. Ready? Because you have a choice. I... You, can, you can just cast slide on yourself and reignite it, but I just... Yeah, hold on a second, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, never mind. The way that it's written makes it seem like the holy water could just be holy water and not 100 gold. It's 100 gold. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I was just looking that up because I wanted to see if we can cheap out no, it's a hunch gold. It, it has to have a consumable part to it. Yep. No, clearly the person wanted the lights off. I'll do it later. I feel sad, and I hold Horngard's hand when I go places. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird. Man, dude, I can't see in this dark. Alright, so we all shuffle up towards the house. Right. As you proceed through the marsh, you kind of see that the, the road the, the bisects a, the swamp waters you are walking on this is not difficult terrain here where the grass is but where do you see that brackish blackish water that is difficult terrain that is you don't you're not even sure how deep that water goes just so we can decipher the map correctly right. so we'll should we try around. to stay out of the water yeah I'm gonna say Mitchell's gonna follow you guys wherever you go she'll go who has that bag of holding on them me. Okay, I'm gonna stay close to the car. That way I can reach in and grab the broom if I really need to. Fair enough. Sounds good. Go ahead and move yourself wherever you wish. I'll just describe the map as a little Okay. So. There are fire flowers. Fire, fire flash. Showing us a path. Oh, um. 
Burn the whole thing down. You can see, can't you, Matt? Yeah. Um, wait, Matt, Takara, what can you see? So, uh, I can see him. Oh, shit, bro. Wait, wait, Tom, do I still have dark vision on? What? Do I still have dark vision? Uh, you have dark vision to a certain extent, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I was just wondering if I'm actually seeing the amount I'm supposed to be seeing, but I'm sure it's fine. Yep, you see it because the fireflies cast dim light and you see dim light as bright light. Right, right, right. So, so even them illuminating shit is, yeah. Go! Just wanted oh. to. Oh, so I can't. Uh, like, this brings I to here. I think I see this. Oh, shit, because I can, like, see, see to here. And, Car uh. You sh this should be better. I can Sorry. see that. There you go. Oh. This should be better. This is kind of like. Ooh, I wonder what this is. That's a lot of vision. You can't see this? I want to I wanna go over here. The car? So, what do I see? Can you see this in the thing in the distance? The I can see ones? that. Okay. I think I think sketchy. we can see like map items. I don't think we can see it. See what I like to see. If you can see it, it's casting a glow. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you want to avoid that and go you? around? Oh, I'm back. Let's go. Whatever it is. Lead the way. Animal. I forgot it. Now I saw nothing. I don't know. I am talking to the plants. To be honest, I actually don't know what I oh, see. Oh yeah, you're still so talking what, about what you see. It, uh, Ark is a ring of red cap mushrooms. You can tell they are mushrooms because of your eagle sight that uh, grow here in the middle of which rests a single human skull and two femurs. So you cut out rest of what? A uh, single human skull and two femurs. Ooh, okay. Uh, the ring of mushrooms with the yes. human skull and bones in it. Do I recognize what the use for that is? Is it like a teleport circle or? Mm, you're not too sure. Okay. It's a pretty weird teleport teleport circle if it is. Thinking of RuneScape, dude. <laughs> I never played a game. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know. <laughs> Meta wise, I know fucking what a mushroom circle is. You but... don't. But would I know? Even madam wise you don't. Whatever it is you're thinking about, you're probably wrong because I don't know what a mushroom circle is, and I didn't oh, use okay. the... Yeah. Alright. If a fair rings means anything in D&D, I don't know what it is. Okay. Well, it does. Probably. Okay. Uh, Alright, so where we're going? We're going forward, boys, I'm assuming? Ongar's just gonna stick right to it. Hold your hand. Thanks, Ongar. Yeah. Thanks, homie. Alright, go in. I'll go in a little smaller moves. Are you okay, dude? No, that was in character. That was or wasn't? Was. That's what I'm saying. Are you okay? Are you still hearing yep. the trees? Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I lick the tree and talk to him. Uh, I would. All right. Uh, you, it, it tastes like a tree bark. It grows and rough in the tongue, and as you draw your face I, away from it, you have a little bit of grain on it. I, I look at the car, and I like to do, do the little lizard, lizard tongue flick. I'm like, I'm can you investigate this uh, thing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, remember, so bright. remember what the Hangover <laughs> when they're fucking high and shit? Just okay right now. Uh, as you approach Ark and everybody else, um, you note that the eyes of the skull give off a sickly yellow glow, and you hear it whisper. You are trespassing. I know that well. But solve my riddle, and I'll never tell. Solve my riddle if you are smart. Or prepare to be ripped apart. <laughs> So like, what if we went around the other way and didn't Who come said that? close Who to said you? That? This, the, it's the, the skull. fucking mushrooms guy. Like, I, I point to the mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> Not the skull, the mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms. Points to yeah. Obviously. <laughs> okay. Dude, I think it's the skull that's talking Before to us. Before we solve any riddles, uh, who are you? Well, are you asking the skull what it is? Yeah. What I am matters not. Solve my letters or pay the knot. I'm not good at writing. 
I can How tell. would you solve a riddle first? And if you get it correct, we'll solve your riddle. I'll play your game. All right. Come up with a riddle, dude. What goes up the chimney? Just gonna be but beating up. What'd you say? I said, what goes up the chimney, but not down. The narwhal bacon's in. Smoke. False. What's the answer then? Too good no, this. I'm not telling him the answer. You got it wrong. We're not playing your game. Good day. Well, you gotta tell him what the answer is. I don't understand it, why you got, must keep me waiting. Why with all this it fucking was, Hayden? It was an umbrella, sir. What? An umbrella. Umbrellas go down. Not down a chimney. What the hell's a chimney? You're. Your riddles are dumped and you should be ashamed. Maybe you it's your mother that is to be blamed. Have you guys never heard that? I don't know what a chimney is, though. This is what the smoke goes out of. From a is fireplace. That a, isn't that a, a chimney? chimney? Is that not the same thing? No. What's what a, chimney? a chimney? That's how I've always said it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Chimney. Tick-tock, <laughs> I grow bored. One last chance, yeah, right. or try your What's sword. Your... What's your riddle? Okay, okay. Flip caps three. Oh, pretty please. Then point both knees to mark three threes. Pop, sorry. I'm high. I, uh, what is he saying? Okay. Is this it? Yeah. Can you repeat that, please? Is this a trap? Flip caps threes, pretty please. Then point both knees to mark three threes. What are these uh, numbers on the ground? One, I, five, V, and X. That is one, five, and ten. So every third cap, we flip. So uh, flip that one. Okay. Well, oh, this one. is one. Yeah. You count one. Assume, assuming it starts at one. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm not. Why would I flip the first one if it says flip caps? This, this would be you the can third. Use, you can use the marker tool and stuff to like flip caps or whatever you want, just as you solve this. Okay, okay so, so we're like, saying this is one, two, yep. three. Fuck off. That's a nice three. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Eight, eight, yeah, right. Oh, Liam, uh, twelve. And 12, Matt. Uh, no! Oh! Uh, <laughs> you failed! By it. Instant death. Yeah, and 12. And then, yeah. point both knees. Which I'm assuming is... Mark three threes. legs. How do you mark three different threes with both knees? Oh. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Crossbones. Right? Yeah, but that would mark four. You know what's funny? That is not the solution, but I'll give it to you. <laughs> that works. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> it works for the riddle. <laughs> Crossbones is ingenious. It does point to all three threes. Yeah. Did we do it? Ah. Oh, look, you solved it. Huzzah, hooray. Look like you get to live on today. And the skull just begins to rattle and shake as the glow from within intensifies. A moment later, oh, it just shatters into a flashing sound, <laughs> releasing a cloud of stenchful odor. I almost feel like we did a Korra puzzle. What? Wait, what was the actual like way to solve it? Just <laughs> out of curiosity. Uh, so <laughs> flip caps of threes is the actual way is you you count the letters of each number. You guys got it right. It is a clock. Which letters have three letters in them? Which uh, numbers have three letters in them? One, two, and six. Right? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, ten Flip. also has three letters in it? And ten. Right? Flip yep. caps of threes. Then pull both knees to mark three threes. Just mark them like hands on the clock. 333. 
but your solution was so much better because <laughs> cross crossbones points to all three threes. I'm like, oh yeah. my god, I'll <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> Dude. Get out of here with these grade nine puzzles. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel stupid that I didn't get the original though. Yeah, it's funny. It's fine. Inside the shattered skull is a single vial. Within you see a clear fluid with a tiny bead of red that continuously expands the color of the liquid uh, around it and then contracts. Can I roll Arcana to see if I've ever thought or read of that? Or you did not. Hey, what the heck it's like, is it? It's like uh, a clear fluid with a bubble that keeps growing large and then smaller and then large and it? smaller. Yep. It's all um, yours. And I'm gonna put it away. <laughs> no one's drinking this. This this thing is like a me six. It just stopped existing as soon as soon as it like <laughs> Oh you solved it, great, I get to die. Bye. Yay. Yay. Amazing. What happens if we fail? <laughs> what You'll happen? never know now. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Right, onwards through the swamp. It's funny. You know what? Rule me Arcana just because, like, the, the only time I don't make you rule is if you can't succeed. So go ahead and rule me Arcana. Takes two hours to to long rest. Takes one minute to solve a riddle. Natural 20. <laughs> it is a potion of uh, reduce and large with... Um, like your reward is a single dose of potion of growth. Drinking the potion, the creature gains the enlarged effect of enlarge reduce spell for one d four hours. No concentration. Ooh, 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 boy. I know exactly what this is. How to have a monster dog? Um, I'm gonna hold it out. I'm gonna take it in my pocket and hold it out and say, "Who wants it? What is it? Potion of growth." What does it do? It, it makes you bigger for a set period of time, whatever the effectiveness of the potion lasts. Uh, I mean, I think I'm good. I think the best one would be the man who hits things hard. Okay. Dardania. Wouldn't that be... Um, Warnguard? Take a compliment when, when you're handed one. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Why, like, the only reason I didn't offer it at the beginning is because he's high on tree juice. So it's like. It's true. It's true. He might just drink it now, you know? I like Don't drink it now. Horn. I like the curse horn. I bag, I push you away before you even touch it. <laughs> so you want to give this potion a horn guard? No, nah, I'll take it. I'll decide yeah. what to use it on. There you go. Thanks. Uh, do not use it until. I, I like we have to put my tongue out and I like flick it around the lid in my little. All right. Not okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. Let's keep going through the swamp. <laughs> Myrtle looks at you very uncomfortable. I'm okay, Myrtle. I'm high. It's nor <laughs> normal. <laughs> okay. It's normal. What's over here? What's down yeah. here? A tree. Okay, fine. Another tree. This is a tree. The guy climbed the tree. I am I trusting the tree. <laughs> I am this trusting wood. this to lead me right now. Fair enough. Arc. Okay, so um, yeah. Uh, here's what I see. Okay, there's um, I'm gonna point in the general direction. This is this is swamp water. Bad. <laughs> this is uh an area with bones and a log, and over here I don't even know. I can't see. I mean I can see it, but it's darkness. Just, it's there's more swamp water up here. So this is this is the way we gotta go. Okay. I am following you. I am here. Oh god, okay. So let's keep going. Okay, hurry up. Just arrow formation. I am like on all fours predator mode in the grass right now. You bump your nose into several moss covered skulls of all matter of beasts and flank either side of the path before you. I'm yes. gonna stop here. I was like a fan of skull. And I'm, I'm recognize gonna... any of these skulls? Yep. Okay. Well, I mean, like, define recognize. <laughs> like, do you recognize where they belong to? Yeah, probably. Do you do you know them all like like <laughs> intimately? Nah. Many of the Very skulls, good. like in this collection, have aged to the point where mere touch will cause them to crumble away. Some of the uh, skulls are humans. Others belong to young dragons, dragonborns, soldiers of long ago. 
I'm gonna such. move up a little bit. Hey guys, and, this, uh, this and log I'm gonna exists in just, to, just check to make sure to see if this log is old as fuck and looks like it'll fall apart. I guess I'll actually have to go up and inspect it. Yeah, use those ink lies. So, like, pressing your hand against the log, it seems mushy on the surface, but then, like, there's a solid core. Okay. Uh, careful, and then the, the water beside it is deep as hell, right? Uh, you can't tell the depths of it. It's kind of, like, murky on the surface. Um, you do see, like, branches poke here, uh, here and out, out of the water. Also, you guys are pretty much close to... Does everybody see ahead of him? How far do we... Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm asking. just is... barely see. You can just barely see the wall. Yeah, I can Yeah, I can see through the Bubble is on you, so it's just across his log. It's pretty a much, so... Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, let's go! I I'm gonna the fly. I'm not, I'm not touching the log. Myrtle wanna ride? Myrtle, he's high. Just remember that. Myrtle's not one to ride. She is on the back of, uh, what's his name, Fernando, and she's swimming across. All right, she's swimming. Yep. One girl, do you want to ride? Did are you okay in that water? Did Fernando seems pretty content in it as she sw like she, you know, like dolphins, you grab onto them and they kind of drag you across. Okay. So she swims over yonder. Uh, yeah. Does Hungar want to ride? No, Hungar is good. Hungar is going to no, keep holding the, fuck? the car's hand. You guys are All fucking right. awful. Let's try to cross this <laughs> thing. Um, through the cloud of swamp gas, you make a out a gargantuan shape, like that of a giant arachnid. Its huge extremities sinking deep into the swamp mud. The creature lies on a stump of what used to be once an enormous tree. The rotting roots of the stump... Uh, thrust from the mire like the legs of a giant spider. As you approach, you realize the creature is in fact a giant wooden hut. An open doorway is visible, well, open, it's creaked open slightly, visible on one side of the hut before you. Not too far from this door, lying in the mud, is a large, hollowed out skull of a dragon. It is about twice the size of your body across. Flanking the hut story are two iron cages that dangle like hideous ornaments from the eaves. Scores of ravens are trapped in each one of them. They squawk and flutter their wings excitedly as you approach. You make out one of the ravens is just out of the rightmost cage trying to peck at the lock. I'm gonna turn over to the car and be like, Hey, do we call out to Bob Lozon and just tell her to buy stuff? I don't actually know who she is and I've never met her doors over yonder nice. so i shouldn't uh, so i shouldn't probably be uh, the one saying it but now you see is there is there like a space under the house there is not the hut has seemed to have slammed down the mud and you can kind of see the disturbance of the mud around it and it is just sunken in yes okay. there is a space so, above it second question yes magic circle has a height of 20 feet yes in the height can it, can it be inverse to go? You're cutting out a little bit, sorry? Oh, sorry. Uh, how you can inverse magic circle to be either inside or outside of it? Can you inverse the height so it goes downwards 20 feet instead of up? Uh, the magic circle has, you have to draw it on a floor, right? Because it falls gravity. Uh, you create a 10 foot radius, 20 foot tall cylinder of magical energy. No, it has to be from floor up. Um, okay. Anyways, so we could ask her to come out if you want. No, I mean, like, we'll just, like, talk to her because we're inside our house just waiting. So, like, who's going to come up and talk to her because we need to get the hooves, right? Yeah. All right, I guess. That's because with that logic they're changing, you know why? If if a spell travels through walls, then you can be like, I fireball, but I make the cylinder touch the ground instead of an orb, and I affect it at ground below even though it's through a floor. And that's just not not fair. That's why. I'm not just being a dick about it, it's just like it has to be fair. Oh, I don't think you're a dick. Okay. So we have a good side. There I, I missed what Ark said there. What was it? Oh, I just said yeah, we should probably go inside and talk to her because we're just kinda of chilling outside. Also, by the way, your spell takes time to set up, right? So 
Yes. I think put that into consideration. One whole minute. One whole minute, but it lasts for like uh, one hour without concentration, so it's a pretty good spell. You can, Wait. Mm -hmm. uh, are we sure she's not in there? Oh, well, she like not. we're sure she's probably not. I, so, I have a thing for this. Do you want to set that up before we go in? Or... Yes, hang on. I would like to use Divine Sense. Good call. Does it take phase? I believe it does. Uh, evil and good. Uh, specifically, Celestial Fiends or Undead. I guess she's the Fae. Never mind. So as far as you know, you cannot... Mm, can you click anything else? Also, she's uh, in her house. She's fiend her. or undead. No, you do not detect any energy from within this house. But it's a good call, though. So there's no... You know for, for sure there's no undead, fiends, or celestials within this uh, house. Is she a strong evil, though? As an action, you can open your awareness to detect such forces. Until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any celestial, fiend, or undead within... Like, it's, it's, it's those three types. Uh, presence of strong evil, registers knocks us over, you smell the odor. Maybe? Yes. The, if Whether or not this is the odor, odor of the swamp, or it is from his spell, he's not sure, but he can certainly well, smell. Swamp, there, is, there is strong evil, but it's in proximity, so it's within us. There, there, You have guaranteed, I'm not tricking you on this, there is no celestials, undead, or fiends within this this area. 30 feet around yeah. you, 60 feet around you. So yep. he's a big fucking yes, area. I, I, I understand. Yep. Okay. Um, are we waiting outside for her, guys, or are we going inside? That's up to you. What do you want to do with the magic, sir? I don't think we should wait very long. So. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll just go inside. I can prep it if combat happens. It takes one minute. Yep. The raven flutters to the other cage and just starts suspecting out that lock. This How many time. rounds is one minute? Right, I'm ahead up. So there's what's in the cage though? Uh, cages. Uh, each cage contains a swarm of ravens that fiercely uh, try and poke at the cages. There, some of them are just plain ravens. Other ones are marked with different colored streaks. Hmm. Okay. Well, each cage all... has like a lock um, at the front of it. Here and. Here. Anyways, this circle only works if I make it around her. So she can't go in it regardless. So. But she can also going. not go into things. Like in the circle. It's still useful. I'm just saying, like, use it to, you to your full advantage. Just because it doesn't uh, do one thing. Yeah, fuck that. it. So, I'll, like, I'll, set it up circle. A, I'll set it up, like, right, right here. Just And then we can just, Can like... you draw it, please? 20, 20. Uh, yep. I will measure out 10 feet. 10, 10 foot radius. So okay. it's also like a protection against her. So it's right uh, if she can't go in. It. Let me hear that. Sorry, Ark, what was it? Um, I was saying like it's. Isn't it also just protection against her if we decide she can go in the circle? Yeah, if I decide that she can't enter the circle. If she tries to make any attacks on us while we're in it, disadvantage. Could just make the circle around your house. No. No. You have to. I'd have to be in the house. But uh, there's our circle. Approximately, I forget where it went, but it's right there. It's like that. It should be right. Thanks. Got it. Got the location right. Cool. So while okay. he's doing the circle, I guess me and Takara will walk in, right? Yeah. The hand in the hoods. Thanks. Pick him up. Oh, and uh, you... I give him a flute. Maybe she'll like this too. Yeah. What do you What do you want out of this stuff? Nah, the flute's just a gift. All right. Sideways. What's up? Nothing, I'm just trying to draw a circle and giving <laughs> some cool. And make the part of Two out there. What if 
fuck am I doing? Okay, no, go, go, ahead, go, go ahead and proceed with your. I'm, I don't want to interrupt your bit, but. Hey, I have a fucking doing? token for this. There we go. Holy shit. Uh, I'll bring it up later, actually. What? No, this is non game related. Okay. Like that? Yeah, that works. Okay. Two map there. Okay. And it's preventing her from escaping. Okay. It's not too disruptive for you guys, is it? Yeah. No. And also, I guess, yeah, he doesn't activate it yet type deal. The activation is when she gets it. The in. activation has to be done as soon as you stop casting it, like after the one minute. So, he doesn't okay. say. Like, but once it's done, if he spent a spell slot and it's for the next hour, no, no fake can enter that circle. Take your time. Yep. Yeah. All right. Get almost finished, and then when we throw her in or something, finish it. Yes, I will. I will do that. Is that is that allowed, Tom? She will not be able to enter the circle once you finish drawing. Yes, I will leave like one. Well, room we want her left. to not leave the circle. You understand what we're doing, Tom? I understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Sorry. We're gonna throw her like, into the circle. Like I'm gonna have it like 99% ready, so she if can go into it. If tries to use the teleportation to person to control. Okay. Uh, when you cast a spell, you can elect to cause it to magically drop it in the first direction, preparing the creature from, from leaving the circle, so she can enter it but not leave it. Yeah. Okay. That's that. That works for me. Yeah. You don't have to 99% complete it. You can just draw it, and she can... She doesn't see it, so... Okay. Yeah. All right, when we enter, me and Ark. Okay, so I'll describe... Uh, walking past the cages, past, past the dragon skull, uh, you enter. Okay, let me go ahead. Okay. I'm going to try and keep it quiet, because I am not supposed to be yelling, but yes. Um, Entering through... You have vision, yes? Quicking door open, the hut is packed with old furniture, including a wooden cot, a wicked cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, a barrel top wooden chest reinforced with brass brands, and an iron tub stained with blood, full of blood. You may investigate any of those elements, like many of the elements I described before. Baba. You note all gear. furnishings are bolted to the floor. I've like got with... gifts. Yeah, the house moves. I'm, I'm assuming this is why. I want to make some deals with your barber. Maybe some trades. As I like look at stuff. So you check out. Mm, looking at stuff. Just perception, survival, investigation, whatever it is you want to do. I'll just grab things one one. Um. Just rule me. Roll, anybody rule me like in your place. Gen, or Jenny general looking. Okay. Yeah, just general you, looking. <laughs> you know, for the fact that um, the hags of the mire, so far you saw them walk barefoot. Um, however, you note two sets of muddy footprints. The mud is still moist. These footprints were left here a mere hours ago in the middle of the night, and they were made by boots. The boot prints left uh, reliefs of, uh, like, you know, relief in the mud shaped like an orb with rays of wa waving outwards from it, like the blades of a Chris dagger shaped like a sun. So that is super obvious as right beneath your foot. Um, in the middle of the room is a ghastly wooden crib with a small angelic child sitting in it. Wait, what? Yeah, there's, there's a child sitting in a crib. Uh, I'm gonna detect magic in this room. For sure. You feel it. So, most obvious without even rolling, go ahead and roll, but without even rolling, you can detect a very strong okay, necromantic. Uh, like, I mean, go ahead and roll, but it, it doesn't matter unless you roll a natural one. Actually, no. Eyes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I figured he's gonna fucking roll a natural 20. So, you know <laughs> oh, everything. The strong necromantic uh, energy that ebbs from the bathtub actually in eyeing it you see that strapped to the ceiling by a rope is a dead goat 
Its neck is slashed and blood is dripped steadily into the bathtub below. The bathtub is full to the brim with goat's gory innards. And you note, you know, sigils and symbols dedicated to fucking god knows who, smeared in blood along the walls and tub, and as you detect magic, they kind of glow in your vision with this necromantic aura. Um, you, okay, natural 20, beneath the crib, you spot emanating like a green aura, light that seeps through the cracks between the rotten floorboards. I whisper that to the car, green mm -hmm. light under the crib. Right also. under the Goat blood, tons of magic sigils. Yeah. Maybe the house is defended. But why under the kid? I don't know. Maybe the kid is basement. not just still. He turns to you and he kind of giggles like, ha! And, you know, does the whole, like, baby hands thing where he reaches for you. Should I pick up the kid? Hey there, kiddo. Don't pick up the kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. Uh, is Bob a lasagna here? I'm gonna raise my voice a little more. We're looking to make a deal. <laughs> okay, so something bubbles beneath the surface of the tub. Uh, you can also note a deep green moth-eaten mud cake shawl and robe folded upon a nearby drawer. Someone or something bathes within the tub, and as you call out, you sense this necromantic magic about kind of intensify. Um... Uh, without investigating further... Are you taking a bath? Or are we just intruding? The, the blood within the bath gives off a disturbing ripple, followed by several bubbles. And I will give you all one action, unless you want to forego the action and just see what happens, if you're staying with a passive route. That is also a good move, but otherwise... Yeah, uh... it just bubbles. It just pass. Sand. Yeah, just watch it bubble. I'll, I'll like, get in like, a, a readying position. But only if something happens. Sure. Where's uh, D'Artagnan all this? Because he's still making a circle. Well, I guess or... the circle's made or something. Is it made? Yeah, yet? it's been it's been a minute. Yeah. I am here and I come in. I'm gonna say like you you see you see D'Artagnan come in and he just kind of completes the circle real quick right before like beneath your feet. <laughs> so this is the rest of the circle is done. <laughs> yeah. You, you you cut out. I was saying you just come see D'Artagnan come in and real quick uh, make a the rest of the circle like up top. <laughs> Like beneath your feet, and you're like, uh, okay, well, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, hiding, hiding little bullets like beneath chairs and stuff. <laughs> like, I, I don't think that's how it works. It says it makes a ten foot circle around a point, and runes appear. So I don't sure. think it's like I'm walking in a ten foot circle. But if that's how you'd like it, I'm. Totally you know what? No, you're right. Sure, it's whatever. It's your spell. You can flavor it however you want, as long as it works the same mechanically. I don't care. It's not like you can spell it by by disrupting the circle or anything. So, Gunpowder. And then I uh, throw matches down to make a fire. Cool fire effect. Okay. That's how I, that's how I enter the stage. <laughs> nice. Um, all right. Um, Hongar's just going to take a defense stand with the car, following his lead as commander. As you watch, the ripples uh, get more and more disturbed, followed by several bubbles. You watch as a lanky, aged, clawed red hand reaches the surface and rises up, grabbing the bathtub's rim. Goat's blood drips uh, onto the floor as the head of a creature follows. Long... Bob, you want us to give you, like, a towel or something? <laughs> Long white... <laughs> it's like a react to that shit. Long I, I white hand, hair. I, I, I pick up a bit of my cloak. I'm like, you can hide behind this if you want. <laughs> Long white hair. Everybody's like, we don't want to see that shit. We don't want to see this shit. Roll Braid sanity. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't want to oh, see no. no. Her shoulders okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, blood. how bad am I taking this while I'm tripping my ass off? <laughs> Pretty fucking bad. Oh no! I maintain bad trip, bad trip. contact bad trip. with her upper body, specifically above her neck. <laughs> Whatever I see there. I look you see how far her... back you are? You see everything but her neck. No, 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 no. I have special eagle eyes. I can right, see he, he's zoomed in. He's got his, like, 20 Ignoring... times zoom scope activated right <laughs> Ignoring now. Ignoring the humanoid figure of a naked old crone that stands up from the bath steps. Her ancient eyes are covered with offal and are thus closed. And she turns to face your voices, the ones who call out. Um, and she just goes, It's rude to barge in without being invited, dear sister. Sorry, ma'am, but you left Wait. the door open when sister. you bathed. She says, 
in a voice ancient and crackling like dry wood. And with a lazy motion, who's hanging her her towel? Uh, D'Artagnan's closest. <laughs> D'Artagnan awkwardly. I, I hand her her sister's head. It's on my hip, I'm sorry, it's there. She was why are say. we trying to trade with her? Anyways, I hand her a towel. <laughs> you hand her a towel, which you kind of look in, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a robe made of raven parts and a shawl made of feathers. Um, oh, my cloak of protection! And with a lazy motion, she grumbles a word of power, and it kind of levitates out of your hand and into hers as she slowly dons on her clothes and casting a spell to cleanse the ghost's blood from her body and eyes which she then opens casting a confused glance at you know Ark, D'Artagnan and all of you and then the grace oh no the grace staff is not there good call yep <laughs> good thing <laughs> nope. yeah f fuck the ice bitch still living in her staff I know you I know you're doing this to me <laughs> laughing at me from beyond <laughs> Before you is Baba Zaga, stepping out and donning on the shawl, and you know she moves toward the crib and picks up the baby within, and she's like, "Ash, my sweet, mother is here." She then runs her eyes back to you. What is the reason for this intrusion? Why have you, walking the carcasses, come here to grace Baba Lizaga, devout mother, knight? Head of the Kagilun Coven and mother to Lord Strahd von Zarovich. Is that figuratively speaking or literally speaking? That's a little bit of both. Quite literally, dear sisters. Well, alright. Um, Why have we come? We have some items to maybe trade with you or get favor. With you, dear Baba Lasagna, <laughs> mother. All ears, she says, as she, with a lazy motion, she shuts the door behind Ark. Ark bumps into me. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Can I, like, I can't. Hurt. So, do you want to head this to car? Or do you want me to head it? I mean, you know what you want from this, but... Good thing I have vision now because I can see when there's a crack in the wind door. There we go. <laughs> God damn, there's no wind in this shit. Go. You know so, this door. I know right now you're probably just surrounding us with Covenant. While eggs. they're talking, I'm going to be scanning nope. for magic. Loki left Myrtle outside. Oops, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> She's hiding. The door shuts. She's like, mm. Yeah, she goes to hide. <laughs> Oh, just like, mm. Mm. Uh, are you familiar with the stone of sleepers? <laughs> I made it. Of course I'm familiar with it. Right. Do you have access to anything like that? Mm. I'll take that I... as a no. no. Well then. We've got quite the offer for you, Baba Lasagna. We do, Baba Lasagna. I pull up the hooves. The price of one deal. She sits down on the bed, quite, quite entertained by all this. She's going to just sit down and lounge in her bed, and just one <laughs> finger on her chin. A great nightmare horse. Clackety clackety, they can go straight to the ethereal realm. Wackety wackety. Your... I continual flame, so it looks cool. Can you cast those on my horn? I actually, don't because it's a waste of spell. So... <laughs> Do what you want to do. I mean, do they do they light up when I clack them together a bit? And before that's activation, I yep, just dip. You're in the <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Boom. Clack and clack. And you don't come back uh, unless you clack again. Roll the deception. The car. You're presenting these, right? The the hoofs yeah. of the horse of our. Okay. Deception. Uh, yep, deception. Um, I have no idea what the fuck they actually do. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> can I can I roll with advantage? Because uh, boy, yeah, we're doing we're like we're like tag team and charisma. Sales sales helping me. Yeah, sales bros. No, that oh, is man. rolling with advantage. The advantage oh. is is, is cancel all your disadvantage with trying to deceive her with the hoofs of Redica's oh. horse. I'm gonna be lucky. <laughs> oh. 
You do that, my friend. Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yay. Luck cool. is not on my side. And Lucky says you have to take that second rule? Uh, what does it say? Do I have to take it? I thought as you choose between the two, give me a second. Uh -huh. Put and link it. It's easy. That will be indeed lucky. Choose. No, that's it. Um. You choose which of the D20s is used. Okay. Cool. So seven. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna give you a chance here. Nope, you're not gonna get that chance. I was gonna be like, choose less than I seven. Hit again, sorry. You hit it again. No, no, I meant I hit it again accidentally okay, in the like, chat. Okay. I wish I could do it again, but you can't. No, dude, I'm fucking overpowered. <laughs> now <laughs> I know the next character I want to make, though. Salesperson? Divinity. <laughs> or Oracle, whatever it is. Right, Divinity Oracle Wizard. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> with Tell Lucky. Me, since you are <laughs> such a jester and oh, so good with your gesticulating of jokes and whatnot, you think you can deceive the mother of the Keep Lord of the Land. The mother of the Lord of the Land, you think you can deceive Keep me. Keep with yeah. them. You okay? I'll just wait it out. <laughs> There you go. Um, you think you can trick? Do you think something? you can deceive me, Strahd's own mother, with the hooves of the mount I have gifted them in return? I look I at Dark <laughs> I see my dear sisters have met an unfortunate fate. Oh, well, well, well. I'll take the hooves, though. Do you entertain me? What did you want in exchange for them? She's like kind of tapping her fingers on on the bed frame, like with her claw. Well, D'Artagnan, what did you want from them? As if this is all a game to her. I was just trying to sell them. In oh. the sense. Oh of fuck! I, did, I didn't think this wanted. far. I thought I thought you had a goal in mind. Oh shit! Uh, well, my uh, goal is to make boots out of them for our mini yes. friend here. Yes. Give us, make them useful in a sense. We were wondering, in exchange for these, you could uh, make these do something. Useful. And you can keep majority. And you can keep half. For sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, all oh, the I, way. I oh, do not believe her at all. The all the fucking not. way. Inside, Just inside. right, right I, here, into nope. my palm, please. I'll make them oh so useful. I can I, can I, I insight on that? Yeah, I, I, I for like sure you can insight. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure after she said, "You killed my own." Her face is my just son. her face is just screaming like this is all a game to her at this point. Oh, she's well, she's going okay. along with your lies just at this point because it's I hand her funny. those. No 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 no. Much no, no. obliged. Okay. Uh, now <laughs> this flute I have here in my hand. <laughs> you see this magical flute? Don't it is indeed fuck magical. Is this flute too. Ah, it is a. Hang on. So she Hold opens on, up. She she opens up. she opens up the this this trunk, right here, and you uh, you can't quite make out without investigating what it's in there. But it's a whole bunch of garbage and and, and magical items and whatnot. Um, she puts the two hooves in there without even doing anything to them, and you can see the other half of flute is like kind of resting on a corner there. And then she closes the lid. And she's like, "No, go on. Do explain to me what that thing is in your hands. I'm all ears." No, hold on, what was in there? That took her. And the small glimpse I got, I think, was the other half of this flute. Wait, the other half of the flute is in there? Yes. Oh, look, we have the other half of that flute that you have there. You do? Yeah. Yes. One ponders where you got it. Uh, From an old man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We did not kill him. In fact, I told him to go away, so we didn't kill him. And, Tell me, dear sister, she else. turns to Ark. Tell me, dear sister, you brought these fools here to feast, right? These are. Uh, these are, they're just so talkative because you want to make a joke out of them, yes? <laughs> How did you know? I, the clearly smarter one, am going to step forward. Bro, someone has a wand to smile, so we keep forgetting about I actually don't even know what to do in this situation. <laughs> like, we fucked with <laughs> fucking killed her daughter in law. Yeah, we murdered a horse gift. And Wait, so I, I want to I wanna be. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm curious. Um, she can mm -hmm. see Toast Healer's head, right? Oh yeah, no, absolutely. This is all game to her. This is the, you guys walking here trying to destroy this whole thing. Meanwhile, you have like all your all your things dangling from you. You yeah, you're like this is. I have a question for you. She does genuinely does that believe that Ark is her sister, though. So. 
Wait, actually? Yeah. Hold on a second. Right. <laughs> 17 insight, yeah. She does generally address you as a dear sister. Dear sister? Yeah. Interesting. Is it your dear dude? dude. So let me remind you that your flesh is like all wrinkly and shit, and you are like pale blue that's flesh that's all leather so and shit. Fucking weird. I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> Think about it. Anyways, sorry. I... Do it. Do what she's doing. It's all a game to you. She Just sees. She. This is what she sees. Finding. She sees two, two meaty boys come in here. Supposedly her sister or a version of her, because you know she knows more than you guys, and a walking corpse. Which is only supposed to be... Hongar has not said anything, so he's he's going with that role. What should I do? Meanwhile, okay. D'Artagnan over here has 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 the previous body's head and... Bang, I can't toes. find the and flute. Toe. Yep. I can't find half of the flute. I have, have half of the flute. The thing has yeah, but I can't find it in the magic yeah. items or whatever. So, I don't... So she... she so, trust me, but the thing is, I don't. How how am I gonna play this? I just like trying to like walk her out <laughs> into the circle. Uh, sorry, they're called the pipes of haunting. Trent. Yeah, I don't. Where is it? If you're trying to find them, they are uh, not available for viewing unless I make them. Okay. Uh, but they look like this. I'll show you what they look like. I won't. Totally tell you their property because they're not assembled together to be effective. Artanian has the one half of it, which is a very nerf version of it, but if you're curious about how they look like, they're in general chat. But it has a nerf version of it. Yes, he has a nerf version of it. That yep. he's not what does it with. do? Uh, is it like Abjure Enemy? It basically causes fear in everything that hears it, but it the unnerfed very version I think I can choose doesn't get hit by it. And it makes so. a very weird sound that's just too maddening for human ears. Yep. I don't think we should try to sell her this side of the... I, I'm not selling it to her, to her. Okay. Yes. Do we still just try to sell it to her in a sense? You know. No. Well, she Listen. Can come grab it. She Let's has like be one straight of... with each other. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. What's it gonna take know. to make a bargain with you? A bargain for what? I want a rival Strahd, Von Zarevich. <laughs> she laughs. I'm gonna look at You just told Strahd's mother that you want to rival her son. Hey, rivalry doesn't mean killing. Yeah, dude, I don't. Ark, seriously, though. It was I who bestowed him the spark of magic in the first place, unlocking his potential. Why would I ever do dealings with you to turn against my very own son? My dear boy, and she keeps stroking the baby in her hands. Question about that baby. Yes, go ahead. What the hell is it? It is your king, and you should be kneeling. Uh, oh. So Are Strahd? you suggesting that Strahd von Zavich? I am suggesting, implying, and telling you as your queen that this baby in my hands is Strahd, my dear boy. So, who's the... I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to pull D'Artagnan in with me. <laughs> D'Artagnan. Yes, okay. yes. Do you have any regrets about killing the baby? <laughs> Keep going, Trent. <laughs> all we did is like, D'Artagnan, yes. Do you have any regrets about Like, that's all you said. Like, we didn't catch any of that. <laughs> Do you hold any regrets killing babies? I, 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 I pull open my sword coat and go, Allah Akbar. <laughs> that is dark. I'm assume. I am assuming that is the silver order for killing babies. <laughs> I would like to point out this is a real baby. <laughs> that doesn't look like a baby, Tom. It looks like a feel like this is this is doll. future Strahd's body or something. I don't know. That's what I'm know. thinking. Um, now, as so, bad as I feel about doing that, but I mean, it's a chance at stopping any form of reincarnation. You know. Okay. Dear so, sister, real quick, you're telling me that that child is strong now or in the future? Yes, it is strong now. You know this tale. Come on now. Uh, what's her fucking name? Auntie Fari. <laughs> oh, you know this. A vessel to my sweet. It was I who delivered him to this world. 
While we raised him and enabled him to follow his father's footsteps, it was I who sensed his potential for greatness and the darkness that would surpass all. Mark, you, okay. should, you should start walking. I'll go for that horn, guard. Okay, so hey, here's my here's my player dilemma here. Do you mean uh -huh. to dispute this fact and rot? She trusts me. Yes. So go hold yeah. the baby. But, but you are. <laughs> but we've already. <laughs> I don't know how to spin this, dude. Other than like say Just I brought you guys. Go with it. The worst that's gonna happen is she'll use power to kill and you'll maybe die. Wait, she offered me the baby to hold. No. You, she might. You don't know. That's that's her fucking baby child. I'm not gonna. Uh, at the same time, what are you gonna sister? do holding him? Okay, so okay, I okay. So without trying to tactics too much, um, I attempt to hold baby and then flee. Oh whoa flee. whoa whoa slow. And then bobble oh, lasagna chases and then circle time. Let me start a fight. And then roast. Do you want to start the fight? I don't. I don't know. What else are we supposed to do? I just don't. I mean, all right. Well, I don't have anything to say to her. Um, Aren't we here to kill her? Like, well, yes, but like, and she's also murdered. Yeah, like, we're trying hundreds to... of babies. I'm assuming. Matt, Matt, think about when we try to extort all those people on what's your name? It. Oh, you want to extort her to build stuff first? Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I don't know how I'd spin that. Because what am I going to say? I found these idiots and I made them give back the hooves. Can Something you make like me that. boots out of them, sister? Yeah. Good. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, like I found these idiots roaming around the sump. All right, you it know just what? Started off by being like enough of these jokes or something, you know? Dear yeah, sister. just do it. Good. Okay. I'll play. I trust in you, uh, dear sister. Uh, Arc oh, cackles. It's super. Super convincing. I look at their team. It is almost unnaturally so convincing, and for a moment, you even <laughs> you, even you are questioning your own voice. Go on. Yeah, start fiddling Get, with my fingers. Yeah, walk walk yeah. closer to her. You know, yeah, she's nice. and then take a step towards uh, Bobble Lasagna. Go ahead, dearest <laughs> sister. <laughs> Shut up, Tom. Let him do it. No, I'm loving it. it. I've, uh, apologies for the jokes. You know me, always for the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I've brought these... Tom's losing it. <laughs> after I found them with these grotesque gifts. And, uh, thought it would be in your best interest to bring them to you. I'm gonna look extremely nervous about Dearest this. Dearest sister... It is quite wise, oh cold one. You have you always knew me well to be a conjurer of various items and tricks. Yes, once we are done with them, I shall use the skulls to fill the very essence of magic into their sockets and cast magic into these hoofs and bring back our dear fallen sister. You know, your jokes will go a little far, sister, time and time again. You know how sensitive I am about this subject, my boy, my baby. Of course. The cutest ch child of yours, Strahd. This look you gave me in your eyes, oh, but that look in your eyes, you must think me mad, crazy, deranged, demented. She starts rocking back and forth. There is herself. nothing wrong with a mother loving her child. That's more like it. I guess you're like no. right, right over here. <laughs> it's all right, Zenyatta. Now, I did come all this way. Ten feet forward. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's possible I take one of those gifts of yours? You always had the best creation. Oh, what matter of torture do you be to dispose upon these oh poor souls? That's a good question. Pretty much like what are you hmm. going to do with these tools? She'll gladly give them to you and like and take a freeze look their push. limbs and break them off inch by inch. It's a test. You see, you want to do ice things? <laughs> ice things, baby. Ice things. <laughs> I, I look at Ark and I shiver. 
I was gonna say something stupid, but <laughs> I don't want to ruin any progress here. Uh, you, you see the dragon-looking fellow. He's quite afraid of the cold, so I was thinking of leaving him out during the middle of the night without any clothes. Quite ingenious, haha! <laughs> I can't shout. I'm fucking dying here, but I can't fucking laugh loud. <laughs> Okay, Christ. And then <laughs> cutting the ability to breed off of him. The what? And I cackle again. Wait, did you not hear me? Was that too like loud? That was like way too close to your mic. So I said then cutting the ability to breed off of him. Oh. <laughs> no, cut your dick off. Quite diabolical, dear sister. And for the venison, and she points toward the car. I was gonna shoulder punch D'Artagnan after hearing that stuff. I plan on making the undead one eat him. And look at him. After we slow cook. <laughs> I don't quite like fire. But embers are okay. You feel it for a while. I give myself a smell. So what <laughs> yeah, what do you what exactly do you want from her from, from her tools? I actually I don't know, I just <laughs> Okay. Open generosity. Whatever you th whatever my sister thinks is best for me. Yeah. You are the, always the, the best one at casting spells to hold and restrain the body. I say we do it one at a time, don't you? And, but not be in front of the baby. And she she grabs the baby and she puts him back in the crib. Little Perfect. Baby. Like then looking at stupid. looking at this thing, you can kinda like Give me a perception check. Sure. Because you're so fucking close to it. Why are you rolling so high? Jesus fucking Christ. That was an so, <laughs> the, the, the golem was created by Baba Zaka and is made from, like, flesh colored clay. No. It's a golem. Interesting. It is it's a golem. molded and animated to look and act human. And it's cute Watch as fuck, it. and has Strahd's eyes and everything, but Strahd's it is... Eyes. Actual eyes. He's yeah. watching this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. But before you do that, we must punish them more for... Oh, no, she doesn't step back close. <laughs> oh! For the question, <laughs> you're the right. Baba Lasagna, let's do this outside. And then I'm gonna usher these two... Come on now. Step outside. You're cold hearted. I know. And I open Jeez. the door. Hold on. God. Oh, fucking Chris. I love improv. It's so great. <laughs> so love, rough, dude. I love improv because you'll see why as you open the door, you see oh, two no. very confused old women having their hands pressed against an invisible force. And they're trying to fiddle with it, and they're not quite sure what is before them. Oh and no! Why I'm they gonna... can't step does, further. does Baba Lasagna see this at all? No, she... not yet. Okay, good. Okay, then I'm gonna take a Wait. step just close to the door. But you can just, just yeah. at Wait, the edge uh, of the uh, circle. Oh, well, sorry, Tom. If we have it so they can enter, then they should be able to go in. Because if they can't go in, then Baba Lasagna can't go into the circle. Oh, therefore... sorry. Yeah, I forgot that. Uh... Okay. In this case, they're comfortably standing like, yada here, and and right. and. I'll tell you what I'm happens go. in a moment. Let's do arc spit first, and I'll tell you what happens yep. okay. outside okay. first. So I, have, I have a like thing when we go out. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna walk out just to the door entrance. Wait for Baba. I'm, to gonna, come. I'm gonna chuck that on large potion and smash her with the skull. Okay, let me. Yeah. Oh my God! Who knew that there would be two eggs when we left? Oh no, the car! What will we do? What are we going to do? It's not Our like life. we're covered in weapons. Oh my. Oh Thailand's. no! Let us pray to our lords. Dear Justice. Dear Bahamut. I beseech thee. I do not want to be cooked alive. I do not want to lose my penis. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> yeah, Ark? That was it. I'm just gonna wait. I'm waiting for Baba to come. Okay. So she, she follows suit. Horn guard, guard, please. 
Hold me. And then I didn't disappear. Hongard pretends like he doesn't even know you because he's playing the part of a skeleton, skeletal bodyguard. <laughs> skeletal bodyguard, hold me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't mean yeah, perfect. I, 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 I grab the car close. I'm like, hold me, dear I, D'Artagnan. I love you, brother. Oh, and, um. And I. <laughs> it's gonna hold uh, on. <laughs> hold on a second. I don't. I don't think. Okay, so even in this moment, I can't love you, dude. There's <laughs> someone else. Um, a tear, a tear Her name is Bob Lazagna. Does anyone oh, no! have anything to say? Bob Lazagna, I love you. Um, <laughs> any final words? I get on my knee. I do something that's going to inevitably start combat. Well, I get off my knee. <laughs> 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 and I pat off the dirt, and I was like, "All right, well." Um, and I can I like it. silently prep Misty Step to like pop behind this one over here? You don't even have to prep it, dude. You can just cast it. It's it's a it's a it's a. All right. It's a well, action, I right? it, I have it as a. You can a you can do it do it as your first action in your turn. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Um The only thing is, as soon as you use it, it'll be initiative. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I wonder how suspect it'll look if I start chanting a fire spell. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, can can yeah. I suspect? Uh, that's why I'm like, eh. Do you Hold have on, any have something. spells? I got it. Well, first thing Let I'm going to do her. is I'm going to take the, the bag off of you, the uh, Takar. Yeah. Oh, what are you taking? My stuff. Just, yeah, yeah. Hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my He's items! Big dumb idiot. Hey, and then I tackle more. I just got more. seven intelligence, like D'Artagnan. <laughs> Doesn't make me dumb, <laughs> old hag. Uh, <laughs> what's intelligence? Like, <laughs> and uh, I'm just what's gonna. Intelligence? <laughs> Shit, I don't know yet. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's 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 do this. I, you know, this is flavor. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull out my uh, my yikes. staff. My fucking yikes. Okay, sorry. Go on. Um, I'm pulling out my, my, whatchamacallit, uh... Grey Staff? Uh, yeah, Grey Staff. Yeah. I'm pulling it out, and, and I kind of, intention here is if, if I'm scared that Baba Lasagna is gonna know that I'm not her sister pulling this out, and if that happens, I want to cast a spell immediately. I no, she, she, as you pull it out, she, she still looks the same, uh, cool. as her dear sister, yeah. All good, dude. I'm gonna ask uh, the old lady. I'm gonna ask Baba what. So we're gonna start this thing. If you give each other like the nod, quote unquote, and we're gonna stop role play and go into like hostile mode, um, we can. And, and we get you, a you guys can think of a plan it. on Facebook over chat because it is now eleven okay. o'clock, and I think. I answer. I think we should probably call it because starting oh, yeah, now will be fair. another two hours. But this this yeah. is fucking hilarious True. and great. You guys can discuss your next course of action going forward. I still have more RP. I have combat. I have branching. I'm down to everything. Honestly, I've been fucking improvising this entire bit. This was fucking hilarious. But I just don't want to start any combat now. Okay, that's totally line. fine. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll do the the planning part. Yeah, right. And you can do your Mexican standoff. But as far as it goes, uh, Yara cannot exit the circle until, yeah. well, there's a condition she can, but like, I'll look it up later. Uh, but no, this is, this is good. This is a good place. Leave it. This was really fun. <laughs> her baby's outside the circle too. Oh my God. Oh, I mean, her baby's a golem. You know for a fact what a, what a yeah, but golem I'm is. Gonna... It's I was gonna instill fear in her and use her child as a as a point of like reference. Like you can still do it. We can still at this point. It's not yeah. hostile yet. You can still think of how, how you want to do it next session. I'm just thinking like. But at the same spot. time, like I don't know. I kind of want to extort stuff from her. Like maybe like. Uh, you no. could. You I'll could. think about it. We'll think. We have time. Yeah. For right. Sure. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I'll give you a week to think about it. It's a very fucking funny situation that we've 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 ended up in. Uh, we don't have to rush it. Um, that means you guys too, because I'm totally open for any suggestions. Well, I don't have a job anymore, so I'm free all week. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know. Oh, but yeah, I'm going to cut the recording here.